Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the next episode of Chernobylite. Chernobylite. We are on part seven. If you've missed the previous episodes, they're linked down below in the playlist. Things are about to heat up. We get, we're getting towards the ending of the main quest line now. Thank you all for joining in the chat there. So we're going to go outside here and start on our next day and see what mission we have. Let's go over to the radio. I need you to come here this instant. I'm at HQ. You'd better be here soon, or there will be consequences. Kozlov's going to sacrifice me. They left me here, and he is coming after me as well. We both know who I'm talking about. I can't trust Kozlov anymore. You have to help me finish what we started. You and me. We're in this together until the end. Whether you like it or not. You what wouldn't want starts? him to find out the truth, would you? I'm waiting in Lenin Square. Make haste, or we're both going to regret it. I guess I really am naive, huh? I think you owe me an explanation, old friend. Well, that's confused me, friends. So we've got to go to the center of Chernobyl, which is over here. We've not actually been here before. I'm quite excited. Have a look what we're going to find. Let me just resize the chat so I can see you guys. There we go. Good morning. Hello. It's 8.42 a.m. there. Well, thank you for joining. I very much appreciate it. Good to see you. So, let me quickly close this, and then we can begin. So, we've got to assign our team to various locations. Obviously, I'll be doing this main mission. Some excuses. Gregory is hiding at the NAR camp. I need to talk with him and shed some light on a couple of things. Interesting how that ties into the Black Stalker. We might be able to finish off the information we need to piece together the mystery of the Black Stalker, because we still don't know a lot about him. So we'll go on that mission. Um, who should we... We'll send Olga over here. Doesn't really matter where everyone goes, as long as they're doing something they have a chance of success at. Apache. We'll send Sasko. All right, let us begin. It's blurry for me. Is it good quality for you guys? It should be good quality. If it's not good quality, just refresh the stream. And then go on the little settings bar. And it should you should be able to watch it in 1080p, 60fps. Here we go. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't like figure it out unless you refresh. Looks like your mentor sold you out. Or perhaps he was involved in all of this from the beginning. I think Regardless, so. he's clearly no longer your friend. He set a trap for you, Igor. What are you going to do about it? Kill him. Unless he's got something very good to say. Definitely going to kill him. He's a traitor. The old man. Definitely been experimenting with Chernobylite. Probably created the Black Stalker, that's my guess. Day 18, Pripyat Central. So, oh my god, it's like from Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4, right? Like, do you remember the sniper mission? Oh, mate. It's the same the same uh, windmill and the playground. So they actually went to Chernobyl and they scanned a lot of the locations using photogrammetry technology. Kind of like a LiDAR. And um, they've recreated the center of Chernobyl here. Now, for the main mission, we've got to come over here on the map. Some excuses. But there's a mysterious event happening here, so let's go ahead and walk over there first. Is this the game Todd never made? I mean, it could be. I don't know, being in America, he is. Mom, I want to go to the amusement park. I want to ride the bumper cars. Of course we will, honey. As soon as it opens. That's right, buddy. We'll be here on the 1st of May, right after the parade. Your mom and I have been reading all about it in the newspapers. I want to ride the paratrooper. Oh, in the cars. Dad, can I drive the cars, please? You and me both, pal. We'll bump into each other. Whoa. 
Whoa. Next week, guys. I promise. Damn. I just remembered that I have a shift at the power plant. I'll bet I can get Fedor to switch with me, though. What a savage. She's like, yeah, we've been reading about it in the newspaper, son. We'll definitely go. Oh, no, wait a second. I have a shift. Sorry, mate. Whoa. <laughs> They're so British. It's, it's quite... It's quite conflicting, isn't it? You can play the whole game in Russian, though. That does exist, doesn't it? You want to read subtitles. Okay, so it looks like we can come in through this door and find out whatever this is. I'm gonna go and scan the area. See if there's any local fauna we can gather. I will actually... Before we go on, I quickly want to see if I can build one of these because I have no doubt the next time we come around here there will be a lot of mutants spawning so I want to try and delay the inevitable. An entrance over here. I've never been to Chernobyl but I've seen pictures so hopefully we'll recognise some parts especially of this area. Getting a lot of rads. There's a ton of rads over here. Me. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's there's loads of guys in here. Let's just have a quick scan because we can scan these guys now. There's only one guy. Okay. We'll be able to take this guy out pretty easily. Oh, okay. He's actually fully kitted in armor. So he's definitely not going to be easy to take out. We're just going to avoid this area. There's another guy down there, though. You can't assassinate those guys for some reason. Also, there's something green highlighted at the back there. I don't know what that is. Maybe we can actually sneak past and find out, though. We can get out of the staircase. be able to sneak past before he notices hopefully as soon as he turns around he'll spot us I think we're actually good because of this metal barrier okay what is this just a bunch of scrap seems like there's a clue downstairs as well Now, what this is about. We're right next to the point of interest, though, so there must be something nearby. A hot area, though, indeed. The game looks cool. Is it like Fallout 76? Um, so it's like. I've not actually played Fallout 76 recently, but it's like. It has a story, so. It's a bit different in that sense. to get over here it's like a mix of imagine fallout 4's building system um because you've got like a base system where you can build stuff which i'll show you guys later um and then also electronic parts so this is where the question mark is or maybe it's on the floor below us in fact Quite a spooky area, that's for sure. I don't really want to drop down there because there's literally a guy right there. Let's save the game quickly. Um, and a mix of that and Stalker. It's got some open world aspects. Like, this whole area is like open world explorable. And there's a bunch of areas like this and bigger that you can explore. Okay. Where is this item stash? Is that what it's marking? There's also a note here. This guy's coming back. No, he's walking that way. Okay, we can grab this. There's a clue. Experiment report form. Age nine years old. The woman in the red dress, which is our wife that we're trying to find, if you guys are just joining now. 
Complications caused by stress and the exposure believe could be from the hive mind. First initial, so they were diagnosing people with Chernobylite to sort of test it on them. Decreased latency of gamma brave waves. So after the third dose, she had a state of communion with the Chernobylite network. Oh God, I didn't know, I thought, Jesus Christ. I thought it paused the game. Oh my god. We're going to get absolutely screwed if there's anyone else in there. Luckily he didn't have a shotgun. I'm going to quickly heal ourselves. Jesus Christ. Intense. Something in here as well. Proper laboratory in here, though. Oh my god! Are those things captured? My scanner doesn't pick them up. They've caught some mutants here. They're doing tests on them. Can I open this? I wonder. That would be quite funny. Never actually seen them up close like this before. Usually they're kind of jumping out at you and teleporting all over the place. They must have built something that stops them teleporting. Interesting. Okay, well we got to go outside now, over here, to speak with Semenov. Is the reason we came here in the first place. Hey dude, how's it going? Risking my boss wrath for wanting to say hello. Appreciate that, man. I'm glad you took the time. <laughs> Good to see you, Dynamite Skype. There's actually... Oh, I thought it went downstairs, but it's concreted off. Looks like they're taking pictures of it. Well, at least they're having fun, eh? I should have brought that goddamn power bar. Oh, I'm starving. Okay, so we need to go over here. Into that building. Where those troops are. Oh my god, this area is so hot. This is like the NAR base though, so... Kind of understandable. Can we go under here? No. Not very good. I could crawl under the car like some kind of James Bond guy. Everyone thought he was just some nutty professor. He blindsided us all. The Eggers figured out how to disable the technology he uses to make jumps. This stupid thing was heavy as shit. We had to carry it on our backs to set up the ambush. But it was all for nothing. The fucker escaped anyway. Between his guy and those fucking monsters, I'm starting He's talking about us. Because we got caught by the NER, thanks to Seven of previously. He gave us some false information about um, something on the roof that he left for us. A note. But he also told the NAR about us that he captured us. Game saving. Dude, I thought that was like a monster. It was just like a weed. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a trap as well, right? There's two guys up there. I can't get over there. Is there a way up through the floor? Oh, there's a... Is that a staircase? I don't know. I can't get up through here. Must be a... Oh, what's that? I can just go in here. That's a lot easier. You should be in here. Or around here. This is Chernobylite. You can grab it from the link below if you like the look of it. It's currently only $30 or £23. If you're in the UK like me, Battle Brother. It's a great game. I've been absolutely playing the hell out of it. There's a whole live stream and play for it if you want to check that out before making up your mind. Is this him? I think this is him. Does he even know I'm here, bless him. There's also some more info over there. Alright, I think we'll talk to him. Before you jump to any conclusions, I can explain. Pressure him or be polite.
Pressure him will be polite. I'm gonna pressure him. He literally got us caught. You've been behind this the whole time. Enough of your games. What are you talking about? You know me? I helped you. I helped Tatiana. Don't you dare bring Tatiana into this. Don't you fucking dare. I know you're hiding things from me. You're acting irrational, my dear boy. This isn't you. If only you knew the extent of my discoveries, my plans for the future. So he's crazy. I don't care about the future. I care about the truth. But I'm going to get it out of you, one way or another. Igor, please. Let's talk this out calmly, like men of science. All right. Ask about the NAR. What are they up to? I thought you were in Texas. Really? Dude, come on. I've got, like, the most British accent. There's no way you thought I was from Texas. My God. What's NAR's interest in Chernobylite? Their interest is in a potentially trillion dollar business. I trust I don't need to explain the possibilities of a nearly unlimited energy source. I don't care about that. They're keeping Tatiana here against her will, aren't they? Why? Where is she? Tatiana is a patient. A very valuable one. That's what's keeping her safe. At least for the time being. NAR has done some despicable things, I give you that. They've conducted some questionable experiments on human subjects. But Tanya is different. She's special. So they've been conducting experiments on her. That's why they were keeping her this whole time. She's still alive. That's our wife, if you guys are just joining and didn't know. Ask about Chernobylites. I researched Chernobylite myself. It has many potential applications. What are you and your NAR overlords planning to do with it? I know you did. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. The catastrophe of 1986 was a great gift for humanity. One of the greatest. What are you talking about? Chernobylite opened a door to something that will change the history of mankind forever. Forever! Energy capable of creating a singularity, multiple singularities, and tunnels between them. More than that, it gives us access to the ones already in existence. It's like an autonomous vehicle that can take you anywhere in time and space, complete with maps. The first side, we just need to make sure it's safe. Ask about Tatiana. Tatiana. Tatiana Amelieva. You acted like you had no idea what happened to her. But she's been here this whole time, hasn't she? Yes. I cannot deny it. But please, you don't know all the facts. God in heaven. Is there not a single shred of decency left in you? Literally. I could tell you things that would turn your whole life upside down. But I don't want that. I can't have you falling apart. Don't you understand? I need you. What are you saying? Maybe she's dead. I need you here. You're going to help me save her. No, I don't believe him. I don't think... I don't I don't believe him. I genuinely think that he might be... Should I get this or wait for Stalker 2? I reckon play both. This this isn't as like big budget and open world as Stalker 2, but it's still like a great game. Very much enjoying it. I don't believe him. I think he could be using Tatiana and saying, oh yeah, you'll save her as like a ploy to get us to carry on doing stuff for him. But clearly he he's ha he has his own personal agenda um, that, that he's following. He doesn't care about us at all, clearly. Pressing him. I will ask you one last time. Where is Tatjana? Tatjana. Igor, please, listen to reason. Do you want to learn about your personal threshold for pain? I said talk! All right, all right. But it's still Kozlov's fault. You have to believe me. Tanya is in the power plant, I swear it. Kozlov is keeping her there. Listen to me, Igor. This is important. You understand that what I'm trying to accomplish here is bigger than you or me. Shut your goddamn mouth! 
I can't listen to any more of your excuses. You can't leave him alive, Mousy. He will thwart our plan. He will bring about the end of the world and the reign of the Rat King. Don't do anything you'll regret later, Igor. You're better than them. Remember that. More practically speaking, you might need the old bastard later. Oh no! <laughs> He's thrown us a curveball. What do you guys? What do you guys think we should do? Don't believe him. It's Voltec. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He betrayed me and Tatiana and experimented on innocent people. He had it long coming. We can kill him, or he probably deserves to die for what he did. But I can't. He's been using us this whole time. You've got to appreciate that. Oliver's like take the high ground, but these people and like how he's treated us, like who else is gonna kill them really? Like some some of them just need to be sorted out. What do you guys think though? What do you guys think we should do? Don't believe him as Voltec. I mean, I think he told us the truth that Tatiana's in the power plant, Kozlov is the mastermind behind this whole plan but this guy's got his own agenda he's like so fixated on finding out how chernobylite works and the power behind it and time travel and whatnot that he's like you know literally forgotten his own friends and the people he did previously helped the old guy will leave your group not really if i make that decision do you think so the old guy who is the old guy no, because Tarakan um, wants us to kill him. By the way, we've amassed a whole team of followers if you're new here, um, and they will have their own opinion on the whole on the storyline. He cannot be trusted. Spare him to eat pea soup for eternity. Kill him. Bloodshed. I think the thing is, is a lot of you are saying do both, but this is going to be the kind of thing where either we kill him now, it probably has an implication later on in the game, but we just don't know what it would be shoot him spare i do i do think genuinely he deserves to die especially for what he's done he's clearly a danger to like humanity he, he's got no remorse for anything he's like oh yeah i was doing it he's not he's doing it again with his own will like he's not being forced to do anything right so i think we should kill him what do you guys think Spare him, kill him. I think I think we've got a lot of people saying it's quite divided. I reckon we're gonna kill him. Morally, that's that's what I would do. Let's go. You won't hurt anyone ever again. This ends now. I see I was wrong about you. You're an insect just like the rest of them. Mark me. You will regret this for the rest of your life. I don't think so. You will never save Tatiana without my help. I don't believe you. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was brutal. That was like unnecessary slaughter. Jesus Christ. So our relationship with Oliver is still good. And Tarkan actually likes that. And we've leveled up. Oh, there's a storm coming as well. Which isn't good because we're going to get attacked by a lot of monsters soon. I want to go and check out this other tent before we carry on. Buster Adahim. I wish I could, dude. I wish I could. What's this? dead Schnobelite. I don't know the code, but this is where the... Oh, there's a clue. Okay. Stay on top of this. Don't fail me again. Black Stalker wrote, Mind your tone, Gregory. You know damn well that I opted in Kozlov and his idiot grunts is not my full-time job. You want to know what happened? Fine. As soon as I got word about the facility breach, I confronted three intruders who appeared to have successfully infiltrated the main reactor chain before. That was us in the prologue. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that he was among them. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Us. I dispatched one of the henchmen, but he managed to flee with the other friend into a wormhole. 
Because he did, like, the black, this is the black stalker. He, he saw us and he was like, it's you. But we didn't know him and we still don't know who he is. Using some kind of custom made device powered by Chobanut should know be like crystals. Remarkable, isn't it? But don't worry, he's got my attention now. I will deal with this personally. One thing is certain, security in this place is a joke and needs to be improved immediately. Semnov then wrote, This was supposed to be a highly secure, well-protected facility, yet it appears a small gang of ragtag merts was able to permetrate it without much trouble. How is that even possible? By the time you showed up, it was too late, given your special abilities and the fact that you spent most of your entire life working there. Care to explain what happened? So he does actually work there. That's an interesting clue. And Semnov didn't even bat an eyelid that we were mentioned. He didn't seem to care. I want to try and get out of here and go over here to this question mark location. The Vagabond's also on the map. We're going to have to be quite quick with our how we are at getting out of here because there's a lot of enemies around here. And there's a storm. You can see the radioactive storms approaching, so we're going to have enemies spawning. Oh, you see that green fire there? I'm pretty sure there's an enemy around there. Can I jump over this? Yes. Jesus Christ, what a goddamn tragedy. Misha was a good guy. You'll have to write to his wife. Right. Explain what? That a monster escaped from a mad scientist? Needs to be quick because there's kind of like a time on this. No, we blame it on Sam Michelle's. Easy. There'll just be more and more enemies the longer we spend there. Okay, we've got to go through this gate here. This place is huge, man. I'm going to save the game quick. What's poppin' ESO? Nothing much, dude. Just absolutely enjoying this. Such a niche game. I'm literally like the only person playing it. It, it um, releases on the 28th um, to the public. I'm playing the full build right now. Uh, and really enjoying it, man. It's a lot of fun. One of the best games I've played this year, to be honest. It's exactly what I needed. Like, what I felt like playing right now. We've got to go over here. Mushrooms. Okay, I think we're good. So, we need to come in here time now. I have arrived at his last known position. Shit. Oh god, oh god, this is exactly what we didn't want to happen. He, Black Sorg is trying to kill us, we're going to have to kill him right now, because otherwise he's going to... Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Where the hell is he gone? Just teleport wherever he pleases. Let's see what you're made of. Hey, this, this AK absolutely crushed him. Here he comes. Master only teleports one place for like 10 seconds. Get wrecked, son. Oh, he just goes back in there. Okay, the storm's over. We're good now. Yeah, the, the, the one complaint I have about this game is that AI needs some improvement. Though, right now, I am very kitted. I've, like, fully upgraded my weapons. They all do, like, mad percentage increase in damage. So, it does make it a lot easier. You'll never find her! This place belongs to ghosts! What are you doing here, stranger? Dude. Be gone, over here for intruder! You don't belong here! Let her rest! Okay. That was very nice. There's something else up here. Let's go and explore whatever that is. Fact. Let's build another one of these. Just to... Have you found any bugs in the game? Um, 
there's some things that feel like a little bit unpolished, but I've actually not found any bugs. I think nothing's ever broken and never had to like reload because something didn't work. I've actually been massively impressed in that sense. And I know they literally had like this game in early access for a few years. A lot of people, like every time they've released the next part of the quest, like everyone will be playtesting it and reporting the bugs and stuff. So I guess that's like partially why it's it's like so good in that sense. The bad thing is, is that the game's not very well optimized. We're gonna have to shoot these guys to end my way. Uh, okay, we can shoot them. That's fine. I'm gonna get closer so my silence pistol does more damage. We can engage. You can stealthily attack them as well. There's two right, guys standing right Dash. next to each other. Why do the eggheads need dead animals anyway? Probably for some kind of test. I don't know. Fucking hell. Stop complaining. It beats transporting human cadavers, doesn't it? Cadavers? What cadavers? You don't know. Know what? What? Nothing. Forget I said anything. Seriously, forget it. You will forget. Oh, no, he's actually making a move. This is good. We're in a bush, by the way, so he can't see us. What I could do... This guy's going to absolutely destroy me. Oh, he's got an AK, actually. I can literally shoot him point blank. Dude, that guy's tanky, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, why is there radiation? Oh my god, it's not loaded. Jesus Christ. Is he dead? I think we've got a lucky headshot there. Right, let's use some of this and also heal ourselves as well. Right, so apparently there was some kind of interesting thing over here. I don't actually know what it is. It could have just been them talking about transporting all these bodies, which they're using for these experiments, as the people that Seminole probably killed, in fact. Piecing together little bit by little bit. I think if we go down here, we can meet another NPC. Could be in the area. So I can see some... Yeah, so get some aircon, you have a bit of sweat on. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, it's 33 degrees. I, it, House is in the UK. I didn't see that guy there. It's like we scanned. We just don't have aircon in this country. Uh, I don't even know how expensive it would be for me to, like, set up some aircon. But, you know, it's obviously, like, mad hot. Try and sneak around. I hope we run into some rabbit dogs. I've always wanted to shoot a dog. You always wanted to shoot a dog. I will sneak behind him, man. Oh shit! <laughs> don't shoot! Don't shoot! Jesus oh god! Oh god! All right, we're gonna have to get out of here because we're gonna get wrecked. We've done our mission anyway from killing him <laughs> off. Oh god! Let's go ahead and get out of here as quick as possible before I die. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> So I left it to the end. Yes, so do you not regret the choices you made on killing him? No. Not at all. I don't think um, he can help us anymore. He already gave, he gave his genuine information. We know where Tatiana is. Keslov is the guy we've got to deal with. Simple as that, I reckon. Mission success. Some excuses. That everyone else was also successful. Our companions at this point have like 100% chance of being successful in every mission. How was this guy? Oh, he was successful at staying at the base. Well done. Everyone can have the same normal ration. There we go. Right, I really need to eat some food, man. I'm like dying out here. First, let's get rid of this radiation. And we'll use a med kit. I just need to craft some more armor plates because I'm out of armor. Use one of 
these. We're getting closer to the heist mission. Yo, Professor K-Dog! Good day, wow. Mikhail. Ever heard of Kasparovsky? Actually, yes. I was already living in the UK when he became famous. When I was just a little shit, my auntie took me to Slavitich to see him. That's only 50 kilometers from Chernobyl. He came to perform psychic healing sessions for the liquidators. <laughs> psychic healing my ass. Why do you have to be like that, Igor? Why don't you try opening your mind? Just crack that solid steel skull of yours the tiniest bit and let the possibility of a miracle in. It's just not my cup of tea. I deal with cold, hard facts. Everything else is fantasy, or at best speculation. But there are alternate worldviews and scientific theories, no? No, there aren't. Unless you can prove something using the scientific method, it's no more than someone's opinion. But <laughs> maybe different scientific worldviews can somehow coexist. It's all in our minds, after all. Perhaps the Earth can be like a ball and like a pancake at the same time. Oh, no. Earth is not a ball. It's a fucking oblate spheroid. <laughs> hey, you're already coming up with alternate theories. Fucking A! It's not an alternate theory. I knew I could expand your worldview. I'm glad <laughs> to have you as my friendo, my friendo Igoro. But enough friendo chit Igoro. We got shit to do. I love sure. Mikhail. Whatever you say. He's the best character in the game by far. Oh, Jordan. Hey, dude. ESO is the best entertainment for 16 hour shifts, making about the old tech scaring tips from back in the day. Oh, so true, Jordan. Thanks so much for the $5 donation there, mate. Appreciate that. <laughs> God, no. Who in the chat remembers the text videos? Yeah, my specs are insane, and this game struggles. Like, the optimization on it isn't good. Um, some people have said they that it runs fine, and I'm just like, not at all for me. And my, my rig is, like, insanely good. I had to like reduce it down to Do you have a second, AP. Igor? I do. Sure. Sure. What's going on? I've been thinking about my family and my childhood in Minsk. My mom relocated to Pripyat after my father died of cancer. Wasn't she afraid to bring you here? You must have been a teenager then. Oh yeah, I was a teenager all right. A smart ass little rubble in combat boots and goth makeup. My mom wanted to leave me behind with changed. relatives, but I wasn't having it. You were brave. I was a goddamn stubborn lippy kid. That's who I was. My mom, on the other hand, she was a loving and caring soul. She thought of only others, never about herself. She came to the zone to help, and I followed. But now that she's gone, I'm starting to question my own reasons for being here. Sorry, I, I don't usually get sentimental like this. That's okay. Sometimes we spend so long chasing something we forget while we're chasing it in the first place. You're right. Maybe it's time for me to sit down and give it all a hard think. You should do the same. <laughs> you should do the same. All right, then. Uh, hi, Let's Olga. see what training I... she can give us, actually. Um, perfect actually... control, which gives us 50% increase to assault rifles. I did the other training things off camera. You guys didn't have to wait for them. Do you guys enjoy it when I talk to the NPCs? Sometimes they've got little stories that are interesting. Other times it just seems like... Hey there, old timer. What's cooking? What's mm, cooking? Nothing Sasko. much. I need to remember to check the dosimeters. Ain't radiation a stone cold bitch? That raggedy ass old man. The other one, I mean, was rambling about it not too long ago. Uh, about what? About Pripyat being contaminated even before the Chernobyl disaster. You're a scientist. Is there any truth to it? Tarakan may not be the most reliable source of information in the zone, but in this case, he might be right. Explain. For starters, the choice of Pripyat as a location for a nuclear power plant was a mistake. Was it? It's fairly secluded. Nothing but woods and swamps. Perfect spot to keep things secret. Swamps. Exactly. Swampland is very poor in certain minerals and elements. Same goes for the vegetation in this whole area. Because of this, the local plants absorb pretty much everything very quickly. Even ah. if it's poisonous, like, for example, the radioactive isotope of iodine. Also, both the Soviet Union and some NATO countries have been testing nuclear weapons like crazy since the 50s, pushing millions of tons of radioactive fallout into the atmosphere. Right, I watched something about that on YouTube. Castle Bravo, Tsar Bomber, serious shit. 
and it only intensified leading up to 1963. The nuclear players wanted to conduct as many tests as possible before the PTBT came into effect. PTBT? The Partial Test Ban Treaty, an agreement between the USSR and the West that nuclear testing should be conducted underground only. But hundreds of nuclear explosions had already polluted the atmosphere all over the world, including over Chernobyl. If someone had bothered to take a Geiger reading of the marshes around Pripyat before building the power plant, they'd have found out it was already irradiated. Uh. Unfucking believable. Well, there you go. Oh, no, I don't. Let him stay. I didn't want to ask him to leave. That was an accidental misclick. What are you doing, Oliver? You okay? Hello. <laughs> Olivia. Hell? Something you wanted to talk about? Someone. What do you make of this Terracan guy? Mm, I don't know yet. He's a very complicated personality. He's not complicated, so huh? That's a cute way to say insane. He's well, that nuts. certainly is a possibility. But he also knows a lot about NAR, the shadows, and the incident. Maybe even more than we do. We cannot ignore that. You think his grotesque costume, the fetishes, and manic blathering are some kind of act? Maybe. Maybe he's just got an overdeveloped sense of humor or something. Fuck his sense of humor. Over the many years I've spent in the field, I've developed a kind of sixth sense. A <laughs> gut feeling about people. Right now, my gut is telling me there's something sketchy about this guy. Maybe your gut is just hungry. Did he consider that? <laughs> I'm glad your sense of humor is intact, Kim and Yuk. But if Tarakin endangers our mission in any way, I hope you kick his shaggy, shamanic ass out of our base. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Oh, yes, the Skyrim text video. Some of you have watched them. That is fantastic. Right, we've got lockpicks. I've got everything pretty much to head out again. Got enough med packs and vodka. Speak to Tarakan. He's crazy. This I love him. world is doomed, Mousy. <laughs> Dial it down a notch. You'll bring the NAR down on us. Or worse. I can see us all in the devilish clouds, touched by the cold hand from hell. The green swarm is spreading like wildfire, ending everything we know. The Red King is triumphant, but even he falls prey to the horror he has unleashed. So, nothing new? You make fun, Mousy. <laughs> well... You do so at your own peril. Tell me, what do you do with something that is broken? Do you fix it, or do you raise it to the ground? You're talking about Chernobylite? <laughs> I'm talking about the world! Not sure I follow. Why do you think the Rat King chose this world for his wrath? It's not because we're so very noble and good, but because we're evil, sinful, and broken. Fundamentally broken. Our actions have invited him in. Since the dawn of time, we've done unspeakable things to our own kind. And to the world we inhabit. Who knows? Perhaps this is our punishment. Perhaps we deserve. Yes? Deserve what? Deserve to live our final days in the age of the rat. Either. To atone for our faults. Or finally be annihilated. I'm not a philosopher or a mystic, but I believe there's still a chance for us to improve. That remains to be seen, Mousy. But we are living in the last days. Mark me. I think the Rat King that he's talking about is actually um, Keslov. It would make sense. Thematically, his character. All right, we've spoken to everyone in the base, got a little update. Now we can go to bed. Actually, do you know what? Let's check the board. Oh, we we almost have enough clues in the Black Stalker. To find out who he is. We need one more fact about him. And then we can look into that. Also, woman in a red dress. We are, we are a few couple of facts off this as well. Which is fine. Go to sleep. 
Glad to be able to hop on for a stream. Love you lots, Danny. Keep up the great work. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Glad you enjoy the videos. He sounds like a mad god. The mad god. Shergorath. Love Shergorath. Fantastic acting in that regard, too. By the way, guys, today I have a backup camera. So it will inevitably get too hot and overheat at some point. And we can have a backup one. Right, save the game here. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Thank you. Igor, Igor, I've got to talk to you. Some serious shit is about to go down. What is it this time? One of the big fish is flying into Kapachi. We have a chance to intercept him. We have to act on this intel now. Sick. Big. Dig deeper. Ask about the VIP. Who is this big fish anyway? No idea, but it's got to be one of NAR's top people. A real 100,000 ruble suit type. <laughs> That's not much to go on. Could just be a waste of time. It is 100% worth a shot. Imagine what kind of intel we can squeeze out of this guy. Just go over there and check it out for yourself, okay? I know a good vantage point. All right. But let's make one thing clear first. I'll do the talking. I've got a feeling this big fish might not survive your squeezing. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, boss. I'll mark the location on your map. You said you have the high ground. <laughs> I say. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, so I didn't stream. Sorry, your your chat message is so long. I cannot read everything. I'm a dyslexic, my friend. Keep them short and sweet, and then I can read it easier. So, Capachi, big fish. Mikel wants me to capture and interrogate some big fish from the NAR. While the morality of such actions may be questionable. Inform information obtained from such a person will most certainly be priceless. Hmm, okay. I feel like this is going to be a hot one. And Mike was probably going to want us to, to kill the guy if he's coming with us. So this should be very exciting. Let's, let's begin this battle. Ironically, I can send Mikhail off to another zone, which is quite funny. Don't really know why I would do that, but hey, it works. Uh, who can explore? Who do we have left? Arakan. There we go. Start mission. What's this game? It's called Chernobylite. You can grab it from the link below. Um, for just $30 or £23, obviously, if you like the gameplay or the look of it. It's, uh, it's a very unique game. I've really enjoyed it. It kind of combines the best part of a uh, stalker... Um, the stalker series in terms of open world exploration and also Fallout 4 in terms of base building. Um, okay, let's go ahead and start this mission. Yes. Nothing is ever as it seems with Mikhail, is it? What is he dragging you into this time? The NAR fish tank is a very murky and dirty place. Can you really tell the difference between a big fish and a bottom feeder when you meet them? Hmm. What's the Last of Us 2 music? Is there Last of Us 2 music? I think there is. Not that I can hear anyway. Alright. Here we are in Kapachi. There's a few different goings on here. So, we've got to go over here to fry this big fish. There's also something over here. I don't know what that is. This area is usually super hot though, so I'm kind of reluctant to even go and visit it. See what we find, eh? Oh, a massive radiation pocket. I will eat those 44 radi rads for breakfast. I don't see any enemies yet, so that's a good sign. Let's 
Still no one here. Good. You've reached level three. Well, that was pretty easy. Don't even know what I did there. Right, so just down this road over here, there is some mysterious going on, my friends. Oh, I can see something. Right in front of us here. It says there's no enemies there, but I'm pretty sure I saw someone. Ton of Jesus Christ. So many rads. It's like a memory flashback. And when I guess they're telling everyone to evacuate a long time ago. We still didn't find the it says there's something over here. Right? I want to see what it is. Does know what she's saying in Russian anyway? Liquidators. Well, I don't really know what the game wants from me, to be honest. Oh no, we've done it now, great. It's gone. It wasn't very exciting. Alright, let's go and fry this big fish then. I've noticed, by the way, the FPS drops when you go through these massive woodland areas. If the game's trying to render like 24 billion uh, leaf textures at once. Oh, there's a fence. Alright, we need to get through here somewhere. There's a gap here, good. Right, we should quickly... Uh... Oh, I forgot to bring some more plates, so I essentially have no armor, which isn't ideal. I'm in position. How is this a good vantage point? No tower? No hill? Uh, right. Uh, you all need a tower. There should be a control unit nearby. Find it and power it up. Give me some revolver ammo, though. Oh, there's a clue here. S125. The Chikora. Operation Field Manual. Initiated only after acquiring confirmation codes from P-15 target acquisition radar. The checklist. L4 Chopper. If I ever catch any of you idiots playing with the system again, I'm going to have you scrubbing the barracks. Okay, well. We know how it works now, so that's good. Jesus Christ. I didn't even see it. What the hell? It came out of nowhere. Found it. What is this thing? Mikhail, what are you not telling me? And where is this big fish? He'll be flying over in a helicopter pretty soon. All you need to do is fire up the missile defense system. The rest is automated. Pretty fucking awesome, right? It's old Soviet technology. I found it totally by chance. Don't tell me that's not a great fucking plan. What? You want me to shoot down a helicopter? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Au contraire, mon frère. It's the perfectly rational thing to do. Cut off as many of the Hydra's heads as you can! This is insane, Igor. You've no idea who's on board. I know we want to take down NAR, but <laughs> blowing nuts. unidentified targets out of the sky is a war crime. Reluctantly agree or refuse. Do we have a save not that long ago? Current checkpoint, 1433. What I might do is I will load... Because it sounds like you guys want to see both options. So I'm going to quickly load this autosave because the game keeps overwriting it. 
I'll make like several saves, Nothing and then we'll, we'll play through Mikhail, the option of shooting it down. <laughs> what is he but I do think Oliver has time? a good point in the fact that we shouldn't shoot it down because it's a war crime to shoot down unidentified planes. Um, 360 no scope. Use it now. I will. We'll do both options on this one. I will shoot it down first because we might. I feel like it will lead to something, you know. Let's just quickly run back over there, and I'll save the game before I activate it this time. I didn't know there'd be a choice in this regard. I'm in position. How is this a good vantage point? Right, save the game here. Make a few saves. Tower? No. Ill. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, you all need a tower. There should be a control unit nearby. Agree. Who doesn't like Find war crimes? Indeed. I mean, you guys want to see me shoot down helicopter landing. <laughs> that's that's why we're here. I mean, that's pretty sick. Found it. And the brick. Oh, this is in. I know we. All right. Refuse. Mikel is out of his mind. No way I'm doing that. I knew this would come a time when I'd start making hard choices. Accept the collateral damage, yes. I've come this far. Come back down now. <laughs> Hitting NAR like this will keep them off balance. Distracted. It'll buy me some more time. Shut up, son. Think of it as Uncle Mikhail's right of passage. Do it! Here we go. Dude, this is sick. Yo, get Rex on. That was close. You did it, man! I knew you had the killer instinct, my little executioner. I'm so fucking proud of you, Igor. Now, go check the crash site for survivors. Mikel will like this. Oliver won't like it, though, I guess. I just saw something spawn, like, right? What was that? Oh, shit. That's death, nice. Shit, there's another one. Chernobylite ghost, host. Oh god. There we go. Alright, let's see if there's any survivors in this crash. There's the crash. Where's the rest of it? Oh, it's all the way over there. Jesus. Dude, this is sick. That is very cool. Macau dropped. Get wrecked, son. Indeed. Looks like nobody made it. What? You have to speak louder. I said there are no survivors. Well done, my friend. Now, come back to base. All volunteers. Big <clears throat> fish. Quest completed. Can we not loot anyone? Everyone's dead. So what happens if we... Ooh, yeah, I think reloading could be good because currently Oliver doesn't like a lot of decisions we made. We've done a lot of negative things. Maybe letting Mikkel take a dive could be good. I thought there would be a survivor, but it doesn't seem like there is. So should we reload and try the other decision then? Just don't shoot it down. Nothing is ever as it seems with Mikhail. Well, now you know you're not. What is he dragging you into this intel. time? That was your only the hope. NAR now fish tank is a very murky intel. and dirty what place. You Can you really tell the difference between a big fish and a bottom? About? I mean, we didn't we didn't get anything from doing it anyway. Right. Um... Where am I standing right now? Just here. Why is the auto-save me here and not next to the objective? 
disgusting. Okay. I'm in position. How is this a good See, vantage point? Do it, no tower, no hill. Uh, right. Uh, you'll need a tower. Press F to pay there respects. There should be a control Indeed. unit nearby. Maybe there's more Find allies. Find it and power it up. Doesn't seem to have an impact. Apart from like on fall or something. I mean, we just randomly shot down an Found enemy it. aircraft. And we'll be pretty well, We knew it was an enemy aircraft. That was it. All right. Refuse. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> I am not going to shoot without knowing for certain who's on board that helicopter. It could be women and children for all we know. You've got to get your head straight, pal. Everyone here, everyone in that chopper, they're all NAR volunteers. Every one of wrong. them deserves to die for what they did to me and my friends. I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm not going to do it. And there's a the helicopter again, but we didn't shoot it down. It's over, Mikhail. You couldn't pull the trigger. Huh? I knew it. Don't send a fucking pussy to do it. Ah, oh, fuck! Accept it and move on. That's not how we do things around here. You think you can tell me how we do things? My best buddies were slaughtered by these assholes. They tortured us. They clamped electrodes on my fucking nipples. Can you imagine what that's like, huh? Calm down, Mikhail. I want to get them as much as you, but not like this. I'm not going to fucking calm down. You robbed me of my revenge. You think you're something special, fucking egghead. Really, you're just a common thief. You are a major fucking disappointment, Igor. Oh my god. Oh, I feel, I feel even worse than when we killed those people. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Chiba, thank you so much for subscribing and the 100 bits. Appreciate that, man. The helicopter has the high ground this time, literally. Mikkel will not like this. So what is our current status then? Currently neutral with Mikkel. Uh, we are great with, with, um, with Oliver. Oh, I feel bad though. All right, let's let's get out of here. Love from Pakistan. Thanks, dude. How we get shot up by the aircraft instead? Yeah, could you imagine? What about those nipples? I don't know. Mikhail's a great character. He has lots of stuff going on. Probably enjoyed it, to be honest. I won't put it past him. Ha. <laughs> What a guy. What the hell was that? I don't have time for cowards and pussies, which is what you are. Piss off. Tell him to stay. Tell him to leave. Oh. This guy's damn right cross crazy, but I can't be picky. I need help. Tell him to stay. I know we have our differences, but you really ought to stay. I need you here. Damn right you do. Don't you ever forget that. Luckily, he likes us enough that he's going to stay. Oh, I don't know. I feel like almost reloading, but I kind of don't because I just want to see how it plays out now. Mikel took that very hard. But would Oliver have taken it harder? I don't know. I do not know, my friends. Right, we got loads of rewards here, so that's all good. Let's give everyone a normal food ration. There we go. I miss the days of Fallout and Skyrim videos. So do I. I have been like a little bit tempted actually to go back and play Skyrim, but I really want to be in the mood, you know? Getting dark, stay at your base and sleep. Yeah, I know. Nice one, brother. Go and talk to Mikhail. Do you have a minute? Always Something you wanted to talk about? Someone. Did you know Anton has a daughter? Dasha? My god. He kept it from me for a long time. Even though we were friends, I did wonder sometimes why he didn't blow his pay on booze and women like the rest of us. He was putting money away for her future. For an education and stuff. He wanted her to have a better starting point in life. I've already Bills. decided that when this is all done, I'm going to find her and take care of her. But no one knows what the future holds, right? 
of a big favor to ask of you. If anything should happen to me, I'd like you to find Dasha and give her my pay. Please. Olivier, please, don't talk like this. Once we've figured this whole thing out, you'll have plenty of opportunity to do that yourself. No. I really need you to promise me this. Anton deserves no less. I Bless promise. Him. Brah. I have a friend like that. We have a great relationship with him. He's the first guy we were with. He's still broken his arm. 17 days. Some people were like, oh, why is his arm still broken? I'm like, dude, it's only been 17 days. But I feel like even if it was 30, his arm would still be broken. I'm just making myself some more G fuel quickly, guys. I do think we need to speak to Olga at some point and buff our damage. You ever heard about the cannibal island in Siberia? Nazino yes, Island? actually. I might have heard something, but... But they don't teach it in school, right? Dead camp. Not the most glorious moment in Soviet history. I wouldn't know anything about that either. But that crazy old Vaker and Tarakan told me when we were working together on another job. I wasn't at all interested. But he wouldn't shut up about it. So I told him. I'd listen as long as he made it quick. Then he told me about these poor bastards. Five thousand of them. Rounded up in cities and shipped the island of Nazino. In Siberia. It was supposed to be a gulag. Except there was nothing there. It was absolutely desolate. These guys were supposed to build their own prison. That's horrible. When was this? Not sure. I think Terrican said the 30s. Anyway, they were given nothing. No tools, no equipment, and only 200 grams of flour each, daily. They ate the flour raw because they didn't know how to start a fire. Most of them were city dwellers. They'd never spent a day in the wilderness. Helpless bastards. What was their crime? Crime? <laughs> they didn't have their identity papers on them when they were picked up. That's it. The secret police had a quarter to fill. Of course, some of them were hard-boiled criminals prepared to do anything to survive. They obeyed only one rule. Kill or be killed. And the food didn't last long. Tarakan said something about a teenage girl tied to a tree. This was documented. She was slaughtered and eaten by the other prisoners who'd gone mad from hunger. Anyway, the old dude Tarakan was really upset by the story. But did I find it shocking? Nah. I may not be educated like you, Professor. But I've got a pretty firm grasp on human nature. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. In the end, all that matters is who gets to eat and who gets to die. Very uplifting. I admire your optimism. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, okay, training. I can show you. Um, I want some training in patience. Twenty-five percent more damage to shotguns. Definitely going to help with the mutants. The G Fuel is goddamn good, my friend. You can get a discount in the link below. Code ESO. Patience, two skill points. Let's let's get some training before we carry on. Yeah, um, I got a, a, a second webcam. So when the SLR camera died, I go to the 1080p webcam, which isn't as detailed, but it works. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Teach me, Sashko. Hello, partner. Today I'll teach you the correct way to handle a shotgun. Why are you over this there? This bad boy really packs a punch and can knock down even the sturdiest opponent. But I suppose you already know that. You do watch action movies, right? You don't need to be a sniper to shoot this thing effectively, so that's something. The shotgun has considerable spread, so you may as well leave your glasses at home. But let's get to it. Fire when ready. Fire when ready, battle brother. Standing work, Igor. If this business with your fiancé doesn't pan out, I suggest you take up a glamorous life of crime. Breaking Bad could be fun for a professor emeritus like yourself. I think you've done enough for today. The rest will come with time and practice. Nice one, brother. Five hydrations. What are you guys doing to me? Nice Thanks move, old timer. Me, you still got it. Give you a long sip. New perk learnt, patience. Right, so in terms of perks and companions, we've got a pretty good spread. There's a few more that I would like, but none that are like too pressing. 
everyone's got an okay relationship apart from Tarko and Shashko. So we need to be careful with options with them if they dislike them. Um, how we should treat them, you know? Okay. So, the next thing we need to do... I'm trying to keep a balance with our companions so that no one leaves our party and we can, like, finish the game with everyone intact. And I feel like it's impossible to finish a game, like, with everyone just being happy. Um, okay. So. Do I have... Yeah, that's what I want to check. I have two skill points left. That's not enough to get anything I want, though. So I think we're just going to head to bed now. I need to make some more ammo as well, don't I? I was going to redeem a hydrate, but I think I'll hold off for a bit, mate. I'll need the toilet. Day 20. 20 days, not bad. How are we doing on clues? Got a bit closer to the black store. Right. I'm going to make some ammo. I think we need... Oh, i got enough assault rifle ammo. got loads of pistol ammo. Shotgun ammo is fine. Um, I need some more plates. Um, ceramic plates. So we've got to make some of these. You see at the bottom here, my armor's filling up. Well, you can't see it because it's behind my head. But every time we're shot, we lose a ceramic plate. But it hits that before it hits our health bar, so that's pretty standard. Um, but it also takes up loads of room in our inventory. Let's have a few spare ones. There we go. Much better for taking on the mutants when it gets to later in the game, you know? Right, do I... I'm going to put some of these stuff that I have in here because we don't need to carry around 30 scrap. We'll get some more each mission anyway. that there. All right, there we go. Now we can carry on with the next mission. Who has something? We need to talk. Okay, Olga. Sure. Let's talk. It's about my mother. Rather, about what she found. I didn't tell you this before because I didn't know if I could trust you. I, I think I know why they took my mom. She was dangerous to NAR. It wasn't a coincidence. She saw something, even took a photo. You see, when NAR first came here, they pretended to be friendly. They offered free examinations to several sample shells and even promised my mother medical assistance. It was all a ruse, of course. My mother was invited to their lab and she ended up seeing something she wasn't supposed to. About the lab, about the photo. Ask about other... <laughs> oh, I don't care. No, let's ask about all of this stuff. Yeah, it's like 30-something degrees in here. I don't have a thermostat right now. She was inside their lab. You should have told me about this sooner. Do you know what she saw? They were running experiments with Chernobyl light on human subjects. All volunteers, of course. Mm -hmm. Soon after that, people started vanishing. My mom included. Yeah, I saw all the bodies. Ask about the photo. Do you still have the photo? No. My mom always kept it on her. Oh, God. We're going to have to find the photo when her mum's dead or something. Ask about the other evidence. Is there any other proof to back up your mother's account? No, but I can't see my mother lying about something like that. She only ever had the Samuel Shell's best interest at heart. My mother was the least selfish person I've ever known. She wanted to help everyone who suffered from the Chernobyl disaster in any way she could. She paid the ultimate price for her kind heart. Now, I have to find out why and make this right. I get it. Really. She sounds like an amazing lady. How can I help? I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to know what my mother saw in that lab. I need you to go to Lenin Square and get inside. Oh, there mate. must be something there incriminating NAR. This will help your search for Tatiana as well. If she's in the zone, she must somehow be part of all of this. It won't be easy, but I'll definitely try. Okay, we gotta go back to Lenin Square. This Igor, place is hot. A moment, please. I heard you talking to our she-wolf here. You don't want to go to Lenin Square. I don't think you're ready. Who knows what you'll be up against. We just went. I think I've proved myself quite capable, no? 
You can harness the power of Chernobylite, an impressive feat. But what if they find a way to disable it? Be firm. Placate Oliver. He's got a point. It's definitely dangerous. Does he have a better idea? You're probably right. What do you propose? I'll do it. With a broken oh. arm? Besides, we have no idea what we'll find. It's very likely we'll need my scientific expertise to assess the situation. I'm not a complete imbecile, you know. I can tell the difference between a centrifuge and a... I don't know, kitchen robot? No. Of course you can, Olivier. Don't take this the wrong way. But I still think I should be the one to go. No, no, no. Go, go there and find the kitchen robot, Olivier. I appreciate it. Darling, thank you so much for the sub on Twitch. Three months in a row. Thanks so much for the support, man. I do appreciate it. Uh, Dr. Delusional has been resubbed Prime for two months. Thank you for always giving me something to watch, Danny. I love playing your Bruma walkthroughs as I fall asleep. It's so soothing. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I really, I want to go back and play Bruma again at some point because I feel like it needs to be revisited. There was some stuff that I didn't manage to explore in the live stream, you know? Okay, so we have a lot to think through. Imagine sending him there with a broken arm, like, oh, it's my crippled companion. <laughs> Just say, like, that would literally be like a suicide mission. The truth about the NAR experiments. Olga's asked me to check the laboratories in Lenin Square. And we just went there, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, right? It is very hot. Currently, it's a bit of a nuclear hotspot. And there's helicopters flying over, which means extra enemies for us to kill. Um, we'll send Oliver to explore, since he wants to go out so desperately. Uh, Olga, you can go here. There's a food drop. And the Kel after. And the ammo stash. Who's going for that? Dash go. There you go. Stay at Tarkan, you can stay at the base. 100% success chance of staying in the base and doing nothing. Well done, you crazy man. Alright, let's start. Let's begin. Drop a like on the video if you haven't already, guys. It really does help it out. It seems that Olga's mother was onto something. Something that got her killed. Could it be the key to finding out about the NAR's plans? Just be very careful, my love. I feel you getting closer to the heart of evil. Soon you may reach a point of no return. The point of no return. Which program do you use for double streaming? Um, so I have the pro version of Streamlabs that I'm using. Um, I used to use Restream until Streamlab integrated it and they had enough features that I was like, oh, I'll just start paying for this. It is quite expensive for what it is. It is possible to do it for free as well if you, if you have the time um, to set things up. But for me, I kind of need to stream to like multiple places. So um, it's pretty useful. I think that there is an aspect that does it for free. Um, but there's only one objective because we did everything else last time we were here. But I also want to look for clues today, so see what we can find. Head for the lab, Igor. Should be in the middle of any Earth's camp. See if you can slip in unnoticed. Don't get in any fight unless you have to. Sure thing, Mum. And don't worry, I've got my sweater. You've got some issues, don't you? Okay. Now's not the time to get distracted. Locate the lab and try to reach it without drawing attention. You don't want to fight all these guys at once. Oh god, I'm getting rats. Getting a lot of rats. There's two guys in here this time. That's going to make our life a lot harder. Especially the guy on the balcony. Okay. We do want to cross over here, I reckon. But I'm thinking, is there a better way if we go around? Ton of rads over here, that's for sure. Jesus, we're getting loads of rads. I'm just looking around because we've not really properly explored this area, and I'm 99% sure we'll find even more clues. We should really take our time if we can. I know the staircase in here. See a guy over there. We should be able to sneak past. And get to the staircase at least. Which will lead me up. 
the roof. Creepy ass music. Making me shifty. Yeah, this is it. I do have a torch, but it gives me away as well. But this playing this game makes me so excited for Stalker, dude. Like Stalker 2, my god, I'm so hyped. Like playing this game just made me can't wait. Actually cannot wait. Like if you're a Stalker fan, like definitely pick this up just to bide the time until it comes out. Like it's so good. And it's so cheap, I was surprised. Like for like a, a very decent quality game from a very small studio. Very reasonable price, $30 or £23. Didn't know you'd see me from the balcony. I didn't even know it was a balcony. Wanna get in here. Guy behind there as well. This is 50 mils of ferric chloride and 100 mils of chlordiazepoxide. I know that voice. Where have I heard it before? Right away. Send everything to the main laboratory tent. Don't make me wait. Yes, sir. That's the Black Stalker speaking. Let's drop a save here. I wonder if we can kill this assistant or interrogate him. Who? Who are you? What are you doing in here? That man on the phone. Who was it? You're... You're Kiminyuk. Dear God, please don't hurt me. I asked you a goddamn question. My boss, you mean? I, 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 I don't know his real identity. Uh, almost nobody does, I swear. Do you really want to play it this way? I can see you're scared, and rightfully so. But it seems you're deliberately trying my patience. No, not at all, sir. Uh, please, I, I can't tell you what I don't know. But I can tell you other things. Just ask. Just don't kill me. I can be useful. You'll see. Vanya, my patience is wearing thin. Where are those damned chemicals? Tell him to take the call. Tell him to ignore the call. He could betray me. I can't take shots of risk. If he acts normal, I may get away with it. What do you guys think? I'll pause so we can make a decision. I think this guy's trustworthy. I don't think he's going to be like, oh, help me or anything like that. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? I'm scared someone protect me. <laughs> Why do you keep calling Olivier Oliver? It is distracting. I'm sorry. I, like, I, I just, yeah. Oliver is like a normal name. I literally know nobody called Olivier, so I just get them both mixed up in my head. Yes, take the call, take the call. Okay, we want to we wanna let him take the call. Answer him, but casually. Relax. Yes, yes, I... Uh, I'm sorry, I'll send them right away. Uh, apologies for the delay. Spare me the excuses and move! I need that Claude as epoxide and I need it now! You two, continue without me. And for your sakes, you don't screw this up. It would be best if you forgot I was ever here. Of course, of course. I won't tell a soul. Interesting. The truth about the NAR experiments. Now I've got to go back over here. Interestingly, the Black Stalker said, you two continue without me. Which kind of suggests he's going somewhere. He's not going to be there still. Right. I'm kind of sus that there's some more clues in this building as well. I don't see any more clues potentially. Right, so we've got to get into there. I reckon we're going to get down to the road. Drop off here. I'm 
we even get through there? The big fence all the way around. I think there's a gate somewhere there. Aha, there's a way over the gate. I can climb up and back. Very nice. Now we're in the camp. Gotta just get over to this building here. Doesn't look like there's anyone. Oh, there's a guy over there, but he's miles away. Just scan this area to see if there's any enemies. Okay, it's saving. That FPS drop, sometimes when it's saving, that's what it is. Have a quick save here. Before we get to it. Little number eight, rat face mask. He's playing the... Yeah, this is the full release version of the game. So it has the full... The main mission ending as well. Look at the tissue structure. This used to be a liver, if you can believe it. We need to collect samples. The brain is hyperactive. Look at the chart. But it still doesn't respond to any stimuli. The previous subject had quite a different reaction. What's behind this difference, I wonder? Age? Sex? Hmm. These are just two scientists. I suppose we can go over there and interrogate them, right? Already got the clue over there. Last Vanya? time. Finally! Who the hell are you? What did you do with Vanya? Stay very still if you want to live. Please don't hurt us. We're scientists. We. Yeah, so was Dr. Mengele. Are you performing a vivisection without anesthesia? Administering shots of typhus? What are you doing exactly? I really want to know. No, nothing like that. We're not beasts. We treat our patients as humanely as possible. But you have to understand that... Scientific advancement requires sacrifice. <laughs> Other people's sacrifice. You make it sound sinister. But yes, everything we do is for the greater good. I'll How does it work? Right? Are you shooting these poor souls up full of Chernobylite? I can't talk about that. The NDA we signed is very strict. The penalties... Did you just say NDA? Are you for real? Stop being a corporate stooge and start thinking about your own life. Sure, sure, you're right, of course. We started out giving them shots, but that was just the first stage. We're way past that now. I can see. <laughs> uh-huh. It was, you see. The fatality rate was... Uh, it didn't bring the desired results. We've moved from administering nano solutions to directly editing human genomes to enhance them with Chernobylite. We've developed our own Chernobylite CRISPR. Your patients or subjects, whatever you call them, especially the locals, what happened to them? Which ones? There were many patients here. Some of them didn't make it past the final phase. The others, we don't know. Don't let him dodge the question. Make him talk. Look, please, can we all try to stay calm? Let us explain. Modifying genomes is only the first step. Next, we induce a state of superconsciousness in the subject's gamma brain waves. It's basic neurology. The sympathetic nervous system begins to release enormous amounts of energy straight to the brain via the thalamic gate at the brainstem. When the thalamic gate opens, the energy flows to the pineal gland, and... Well, there you go. I don't like to use this term, but it opens a third eye. A third eye? Right. Then what? Enhanced by Chernobylite, the pineal gland can do incredible things. Release all kinds of energy, and even influence physical objects, as in telekinesis. You're torturing people so they can bend spoons with their mind? God, what kind of quacks are you? This is all following the scientific method, believe me. These are closely monitored, replicable experiments. Anyway, when the subject is ready for the final stage, we put them in an induced coma. Contrary to what you might think, it's for their own good. Explain, and fast. What is this final stage? Our boss calls it communion. 
It's when the subject's gamma brainwaves interact with Chernobylite's mental waves, or, well, to tell you the truth, we don't know exactly what it is. Chernobylite is like a virus, in a way. It's not exactly inorganic matter, but neither is it a living organism. It's something in between. And it produces a type of brainwave, even though it clearly has no structured organic tissue. What is going on in the chat? Not the number nine, number eight. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sounds wacky. What the hell is this? Ask about the communion. You ask about the corpse. Like, has he had his communion yet? How did it go? Well, what's the purpose of this communion? This is where it gets really interesting. You know that Chernobylite can be used to create wormholes, right? You've been doing it yourself. But these wormholes are special. Haven't you noticed? They're not a purely physical phenomenon. I don't understand. What else could they be? We know what singularities and the tunnels should look like. We know what they are in theory. But has anyone actually been inside one before? Bullshit. I've studied Chernobylite too. The exotic energy it contains is powerful enough to create quasi-black holes and passages between them. We thought so too, at first. But think about this. What if there was an organism, or a virus, an entity powerful enough to create its own singularities? No biological organism could encapsulate that kind of energy, or survive if it did. A living entity would be torn to shreds. But Chernobylite is not a normal biological organism, is it? We have no idea what it is. Just try and consider the possibility that the wormholes you're walking into are not something created outside of Chernobylite. They are Chernobylite. You're traveling through the veins and corridors of its multidimensional body. But what does that have to do with this communion thing? Isn't it obvious? We're trying to communicate with Chernobylite, or somehow influence it through the mental energy of our subjects. But getting inside this thing's mind, or whatever it is, must be a truly disturbing experience. You're fucking insane, both of you. You need to stay away from the morphine cabinet for a while. I've heard enough. Jesus Christ. Ask about the corpse, yeah. Who's your patient here? I'm not sure, but it... She must have been carefully selected. Selected? How? Did she volunteer? Or was she maybe run down and captured by soldiers in the woods? Talk! I'm not familiar with the selection process. Our boss would know. But we know very little about him. What's your boss in charge of, exactly? The entire biotech division, pretty much everything Chernobylite related, but mainly the impact on human physical and psychological functions. Ask about the C-R-I-S-P-R. Clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. <laughs> yes. How does this work with Chernobylite? It's similar to a standard gene editing tool. We take specialized protein from a certain bacteria, modify it with Chernobylite, and then target the exact genes we want to modify. Wait, I know more about physics than genetics, but CRISPR is usually done on embryos, right? And it takes time, sometimes even years, for mutations to show. Our boss developed his own methods. The process is applied directly in the subject's body. The speed of the mutations has increased exponentially. It no longer takes years, but weeks, sometimes mere days. Marvellous, isn't it? Wouldn't be possible. Ask for solid data and wrap up the question. Enough! All I've got from you so far is a bunch of gibberish. Right. I want to see the actual research. Where do you keep your data? All the research data? Check the, the database data. in this computer. Everything can be accessed from here. It's password protected, isn't it? Promise not to kill us and we'll tell you. Don't worry, I don't give a shit about you. Password. 23 hash 98 S dollar. Listen to me very carefully, Igor. This research, this data, it's too dangerous to exist. My people died because of it. Delete everything. It won't bring my mother back, but at least no one will profit from her death and the deaths of others. Hmm. You need to download this research, Mousy. This is the Rat King's brain stash. It's dangerous, yes, and inhuman. But it could contain the key to defeating him.
it may its scientific research after all it may hold the key to understanding Chernobyl and finding Tatiana any of our experiments are hurting innocent people I should delete all their findings what do you guys want to do I'm actually conflicted with this I'm tempted to download it. It could f help us find Tatiana. Get the weapons. Delete. Research. Destroy it. Keep the info. Delete. Download. Oh, like, oh, it's quite conflicted here. Thank you, Evil Duck, for the subscription. Appreciate that, man. I'm getting DDLC vibes because of the third eye. <laughs> download. Download. Okay. It's not downloads. Cast it into the fire. Destroy it. I mean, your, your comment counts as two because that was a great quote. A lot of downloads, though. Okay, we're going to download it. Let's do it. This is too interesting, not too. And I think currently Tarakan, we have a, um, a bad relationship with. Olga, we just have a, a neutral relationship. So I feel like downloading the data, it will piss off Olga, but Tarakan will like that, so we'll keep it. And it's good for us as well because we find out info on Tatiana. Boop. Looks like the Black Stalker is enhanced somehow by Chernobylite. <laughs> the NER put him in charge of safeguarding their science secrets. Professor Semnov, we've barely scratched the surface, but I can already conclude that Chernobylite compound, compound has the potential to re revolutionize the world's economy, even dwarfing the power of nuclear energy. We kind of read that in another document already, actually. Further study focusing on three distinct areas of application. Medicine, military, and transport. In theory, Chernobylite is an infinite resource of energy, but obviously transporting it is difficult. I'd recommend that. Mm, okay. So this is... He's in charge of the operation, the Black Stalker, which is very interesting. Semnov was not the main man, so it didn't really matter that we killed him. These guys are telling the truth. They really achieved something incredible here. Why did you do it? God damn you! You did good, Igor. We will turn this information into a weapon against the Rat King. I mean, we have the information now, so we could just delete it later. Uh huh? I'm... Yeah. I... Uh, status of there is now worse to the point of bad and we've got free scope points which is good how could you Igor no our relationship with Tarakan is still bad but we have one positive thing to outweigh those two negative things we did with them I think it's important to get some kind of middle ground there. Right then, so. We can now get out of here. But I do want to check out this building over there in the distance. Some guys over there. Oh, hello. Oh god, he's coming this way. Let's just flank around behind him through here. Kaska is like a Russian word. Easy Kaska. Alright, we get the good. Another guy just over there. Heading towards this building. Quite far away, actually. How do I get... Oh, oh there's an open gate. Well, that's very convenient for me, indeed. Right. I want to check this building. Because I have a feeling there might be some clues here. Probably take this. Oh no, we can't take this guy out because there's people on the uh, balcony watching him. Definitely sneak past him though. 
Maybe we can get in here quickly. Oh golly, that guy's gonna turn around, isn't he? Okay, okay, we're getting good. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, we're lucky. We're gonna come back through this hall very shortly, I'm sure. Now we need to get in and out, see what info we can find. Don't know how much stuff we're gonna find that's actually useful here, though. That guy's coming back inside by the looks of it. Just waiting to see where he goes. Coming in here. Oof. Oh my god, it's hot. Hopefully that guy's... Oh dear. Oh no, he's in the other room. That's good. Jesus Christ. Dude, there's no way. How did he not see me? Woo. That was spicy. Right, this helps us out tremendously. In this room, some supplies, and we can get up here. Can I get up here? No, oh, there we go. This roof is pretty empty. Something in here, too. And lock pick that. There's a crafting station up there. Oh well, there's no clues that I was thinking maybe there would be, but nothing like that. All right, let's let's head back then. I'm kind of interested to see how Olga reacts. I think we might get the whole "I'm going to leave the group" situation, uh, and I haven't done much. To give her positive like us more so it's tricky i think she's going to be first. i'm sorry olga nobody deserves to die so horribly i was hoping for some good news but perhaps i was foolish my mother these people they were all just used processed how could anyone do something like this anyway did you find anything of value not sure yet Bizarre theories about Chernobylite, mostly. I don't know if I want to get into the details yet. Try me. I'm not a bookworm like you, but I'm not stupid either. You took well, it quite well. NAR seems to think Chernobylite is like a giant turtle that carries our universe on its back. They figure they can tame it and Discworld. ride it wherever they want. Like a pet. A turtle? It's just a metaphor, but the scientific theory behind it is no less insane. Right. Uh, thanks for trying, I guess. My mother died for this. <laughs> Awkward. Could have done better with that one, Ivor. Oh, Sashko failed. Okay. Got two scrap. Well done, Sashko. Still more useful. Everyone can get a normal food ration anyway. There we go. Accept. Right. But damn. Getting hot out there. Almost as hot as it is inside here. You're right, Olga. So we have some skill points to spend. I'm gonna see which companions we want to spend them with. We have three skill points. Um, skills. Um, run and jump safety from any height. 50% more shotgun damage. I think the 50% more damage on assault rifles is probably the way to go. I mean, the assault rifle just absolutely kicks ass. Mm. 
So I think we'll probably speak to Olga. What's up, Professor? I'm thinking about our next move. I'm tired of all this thinking and planning. When are we going to get up off our hands and do something? Hmm. We should be out there giving NAR nine kinds of help. Do you really hate them that much? I don't hate all of them. I even have a few contacts who help me with trade. But on the whole, NAR is pure evil. They should be destroyed, pulverized, eradicated, buried, wiped off the face of the earth. That sounds a lot like hate. They took <laughs> my mom and my friends from me. Those fuckers capitalize on human misery. What could be lower than that? Rented the area from a corrupt government to make billions of dollars in unknown, untested technology? And then they have your Tatiana. Should I keep going? Right. Yes. Tatiana's why I'm here. And if I find out they did something to her, they will pay. They but will bringing pay. down NAR is not my priority. I'm not here to make the world a better place. But you should be. I don't get it. I could never understand why your generation made a pact with the devil. What would you have me do instead? Shoot the devil in the face, preferably with both barrels of a sawed-off over-under. In the area... In the area you're so nostalgic for, you could be arrested for nothing whatsoever. Speaking out of turn, or purchasing bread without your ration card. And they'd round up your family, too. In order to survive, you compromise. Sometimes that compromise is ugly. I would have fought against my oppressors. You'd have done shit. The KGB would have thrown your ass in Lubyanka in less time than it takes to buy a counterfeit watch in Red Square. So the true. times are changing, I guess. Shot down. Perhaps your generation will usher in the change we need, Olga. Yeah, but spoken spoken from a perspective of ag um, ignorance, you can say anything. Hi, Olga. I'd be all right, let's uh, get some... Oh, it costs four points. Actually, all right, we don't have that many points yet. Though, I could go ahead and build some more food rations. I really don't need anything else. My, my base is pretty much done. We built everything we really need. This allows us to, I think, die and make changes to the choices um, that we had previously made in the game. It's a very cool mechanic, but one I kind of don't want to use because I want to just have a normal playthrough, if that makes sense. Uh, let's, have, let's build some more pumpkins. Nice pumpkin little patch here. There we go. More food. Um, how much ammo do I have? I've got a lot of revolver ammo. I can put some of this away. Just tons of revolver ammo, mate. AK-47 here. Don't actually need that. Um, I got loads of assault rifle ammo, 10 shotgun slugs. I mean, that's plenty. That's all I need, mate. Let's just quickly make some anti rad at the fireplace, and then we're good to carry on, I think. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and we also want one of these who. Fact, what's my current. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll use one of these right now and make another one. Just quickly get rid of our excess materials too, because I don't need to carry around all this scrap. Uh, no, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and talk to How Sashko. Things, Professor? He has nothing to tell us. Nothing to say. Let's have a sleep. Oh, you found enough clues on the board to run a simulation of the past event. Ah, we can find out about Tatiana. Fantastic. Okay, woman in red dress. So we already did Web of Lies. To bring, if, if you guys are watching this stream, you haven't seen the previous ones. To bring you up to date, Tatiana was um, spied on by someone that she had previously friend zoned, um, who worked for the KGB. So the KGB was spying on her. Um, and this guy, um, Oliver, I think his name was, um, basically um, said that she had loads of Western propaganda and that she needed to be taken by the KGB, and that's where they ended up experimenting on her. So now we have enough... Oh, one sec. It says insufficient data. Oh, it's the Black Stalker we can find out about. Okay, great. I was misled there by the, uh, the tour. Who is the Black Stalker? A man, a creature, beyond the world, I have suspicions, but I find it hard to believe in them that this creature is of Chernobylite hypothesis. 
indeed. All evidence points towards the conclusion that the Black Stalker's abilities are the result of Chernobyl experiments. So now we have everything we need to piece together all this information. So let's run the simulation and see who he actually is. Yes, that's fine. Here we go, boys. It's like the Fallout 4 memory sequence. It's really cool. It's like the power plant. Where the Black Stalker may have been born. Who knows? Apparently Listen, he Georgi. I know what I'm doing, but there's no going back now. I know, my dear friend. It's just that we lost such a brilliant mind that terrible night. I'm afraid of losing you, too. All over some romantic squabbles. I think Semenov could have created him. Semenov seems to be better friends with him than he was with us. And this misunderstanding also cost you your good looks. I don't want to listen to this anymore. No more distractions, you hear me? Oh yes, of course. I'm very happy to hear that it's all in the past now. So, just so you guys know, Boris was the KGB agent who um, got friend-zoned by Tatiana, our wife. Um, and that's why he was, like, jealous of her. So, she ended up getting abducted. And now we see Semenov, who knew both of us, um, out here betraying us, Good. essentially. Good. So, let's get to it. I would like to see some results as soon as possible. We both know that she's the key. We've wasted enough time already. All right. All right. Just... Don't do anything rash, please. We need to follow the proper protocols. So my dear friend Boris worked with Semenov even after the Chernobyl disaster. I wonder what happened to his face. And Tanya is the key. The key to what? Yeah, more secrets. I've got to keep digging. This is interesting, though, because it means I'm very happy we killed Semenov. He was wait working against us. I definitely did not have Tatiana's interest at heart, and also experimented with tons of innocent people. We can find the truth without him, that's for sure. Battle Brothers Your trials were too aggressive, my friend. I told you that you were using too much, didn't I? I told you. You're lucky you didn't end up brain dead like the others. But here we are. Boris is dead. Truly dead this time. There's no reason to pretend otherwise now. I suppose I should have seen this coming. The mental projections you told me about, the visions, they've been building for some time. No way. So Boris is the Black Stalker, maybe? Because he he died. Maybe uh, Sevenoff managed to bring him back. Creepy AF, man. <laughs> I, love, I love your comment, dude. Battle Brothers don't sleep with Battle Brothers and Sisters. It's true. To be honest, I just thought that your hallucinations meant you were losing your mind. Prolonged exposure to Chernobylite often causes psychosis and hysteria, after all. Why, I've seen the test subjects babbling about Cthulhu, or wanting to save the world from rats. Really? That explains Tarakan's madness. He's been exposed to a lot of Chernobylite. Cthulhu confirmed though. Must be real. Rats are real. You really did it, my friend. You crossed the Rubicon. You achieved something that no one has ever achieved before. Well, except her. But she has a different purpose. You will be the first of your kind. You will help me bring about a new era of human evolution. You will help me reach the stars. 
So he created the Black Stalker, essentially. That's what that means. That's what he's talking about. I love the layout of this memory sequence. All the bodies that they've experimented on to get to this point. Very well laid out. Forget your past. Forget your pathetic personal involvements. Distractions. Foolish distractions for the weak. Wasting your time seeking validation from others, but not anymore. You don't need any of that going forward. You're to be my right hand in the days to come. There you go. That explains why the Black Stalker was in the background of this call. It's time to drop your old mask and don a new one. Time to become what you were always meant to be. The, the Black Stalker. Wake up soon. We've got plenty to do, you and I. So it was Boris all along. He started the Chernobylite trials on himself and became the Black Stalker. Dear God. It makes perfect sense because that's why the Black Stalker wanted to kill us. Dude, this story is really good. I'm really enjoying it. I didn't guess that. I guess I could have guessed it now I know about it in hindsight, but very well put together. Kept me guessing. I've told you everything you need to know, General. What seems to be the problem? The problem? That's what you're calling it. Look, I won't even pretend to understand what you and your lab monkeys are doing down there. And I wouldn't care if I did. What I do care about is this facility and the safety of my men. So Semenov was the crazy scientist driving that for his own ambitions. Literally created the Black Stalker to use him. So the next time you decide to rush an experiment that can potentially release a bunch of fucking monsters into the world, Please tell me beforehand, so I have time to devise a strategy. First off, the shadows are key to our research. They are hybrids that... You know what? I won't bother you with details that you won't be able to understand anyways. And second, actually, no, I'm responsible to the board, not to you, Kozlov. Your job is to safeguard this operation, not lecture me on things you will never come close to understanding. In fact, the board wants you to cooperate closely, very closely, with my right-hand man. I would like you to familiarize him with all of our security protocols. The Black Stork he's referring to. Who? The freak in the black mask? You want to tell me who the hell he is? I like to know who I'm working with. If you need a name, call him what the rest of your men call him. The Black Stalker. One last thing. I know you don't share my views on the future prospects of this organization. But don't even think about throwing in the towel. If we fail, there will be hell to pay for both of us. There is no walking away now. Seminole had this guy around his finger. Maybe he was really the brain of the operation. So the As NAR is somehow responsible for creating shadows. Or at least releasing them into the world. And Boris, the Black Stalker, is also involved in NAR security. That was very telling. Very telling. Go back, I want to be a lab monkey. <laughs> Day 21 of my arm not healing. <laughs> Black Stalker achievement unlocked. Oh, we got four skill points, which means we can get training from our good friend, Olga. Olga. Uh, tense name. Hello, Battle Brother. Who needs my help today? Hey there, old-timer. I need you to do something for me. 
Ah, I'm all good. ears. You know I came here to Chernobyl looking for someone. You mentioned a brother. Yeah, Ruslan. We grew up together in Moscow. We had to fend for ourselves from an early age. So you were, like, gangbangers? The proper term is thieves in law, but you don't need to know that. So why is Ruslan even here? It's a long story, but our father was a cop. Like a lot of cops, he was a real piece of shit. He beat our mother every time he got drunk, which was always. But I'll never forget the last time. He took a swing at my head with a lid pipe. But this time it didn't connect. I wasn't a helpless little shit anymore, and neither was Ruslan. We grabbed the old man and threw him down the well behind the old house. He was just too much of a bastard to die, though. Only broke his legs. Joke about it. Chastise him. You saw your father. Why was he hitting you? You threw your own father down a well. I guess he must have deserved it. Good joke. Okay. What's my role in all this? My brother Ruslan did something he shouldn't, and after this something, he came here to hide in the zone. I've been trying to track him down for months. Damn. What did he do that would make him hide in a place like this? That's not important right now. Anyway, my best guess is that he was caught by NAR. I need to meet up with him and ask him some questions. This is very important to me. Search the NAR mobile command center near the old hospital on Pripyat Port. There are some officer uniforms that'll help you infiltrate the power plant. And while you're at it, I want you to look up some info on my brother. Anything you can find on Ruslan Horobets. Of course. I knew I could count on you, partner. Stay in touch, just in case. Radio me if you need help. I will. <laughs> exactly, Seven. That was not a joke. British humour in its finest form. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Where is your brother then? He's in the port. Oh, mate, the port is always. Uh, that's why I got jump scared. Don't like to visit the port anymore. Okay, I guess we'll go to the port. Nothing significant is currently how. Okay, well, we'll send. Why has no one got a chance there? I'll we'll send you. The Moscow Eye. Olga, you can go there. Medicine drop. Olga. Oh, oh, no. What? Uh, medicine drop, Mikkel. Ashko can go over here. Arakan can stay at the base. Let's start the mission. You promised your friend something, and now you need to follow through. Sashko is like a live grenade right now. One wrong move, and he'll explode. Be careful. Be careful. I'm gonna go to the toilet quickly, guys, before we begin this adventure. Brothers, welcome back. Whoa. Class, a classic, just banter. Yeah, push my dad down the well. Bants, bants, bants. Checkpoint assault over here. Okay. Nothing else. Just get over there, then, eh? Some Chernobylite down there. So beautiful this area. Got to head to the port apparently. Can't see any enemies up there yet. It's good. Guarantee there'll be a big, yeah, big pocket of radiation here. Forty rads, Jesus Christ! Oh my God, even more rads! Help me! 
Right, great. Um, we need to go back this way. This is also where we'll find lots of enemies, I'm sure. It actually seems rather deserted. Maybe, oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm taking like 1,000 rads, great. Dude, what is with all these pockets of radiation? I think I'm going to die to radiation in a second. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a guy right there. We're actually okay. Might have to kill this guy, though. Oh, no, I don't. We've got to go this way. I feel like my objective is in a... Hope it's not that fucking pea soup again. ...irradiated zone, though. Can I even get to it? Ooh. For some reason, I recognize this place. I think I'm very close to where we need to go. This is the check. I'm at the outpost. A lot of firepower here. Stay yeah. low. I could try my luck. See if I can take them out. You got bows. I'll give you that. But no. Lure them away from the outpost somehow. Use the field radio. I assume Olivier taught you how to fool these robots. Okay, you got a plan. Get to it. The man has a point. I need to be clever. Agree or disagree? I don't really know what the impact of that would be. Do we want to be clever or not? Agree. Okay. You guys are telling me to agree. I guess we'll agree then. Living on the streets of Moscow teaches you how to think on your feet, huh? <laughs> I like it. Right. So, we need to go over here now. Oh, one sec. Is this the entrance to the bunker? Not been down here before. Jesus Christ, why well, there's so many radiation here? 45 rounds. Fuck me. Dude, there was literally no point in going down here. Oh my god. So many rads. Now suddenly they've dropped off. So I don't know if the game's bugged, but this is the maximum amount of radiation I've, I'm taking. But that is a bug. It's like one of the few bugs I've actually found, to be honest. There's an enemy just over there. Coming right this way. Oh god. Actually another guy over there too. I missed. Ah, uh, there. How are we going to get past these guys? Maybe it goes that way. Probably sneak past. I'm very quick and careful. Oh, actually, I've got to go right here. Where that guy's standing, literally. I could probably assassinate him, though, if I'm very quick. Before the other guy turns around. Why am I getting rads right here? Like, I'm at the objective. Why are you giving me so many rads? This might not work. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we're actually safe, safe out right now. We might turn around in a second. Yay, yeah, Jesus Christ. Fucking squad. Ha ha! Didn't even react. Alright. I'm at the radio station. Good stuff. You know what to do next. Message about shadows? Message about wanted nine. I bet they'll jump if I tell them about the wanted man. I bet they'll jump if I... They'll react to a shadow attack. The wanted man, I guess. I feel like that would be the best bet. Shadows are all over the place anyway. This is uh, Bluebird calling reinforcements to Alpha Bravo Papa. Found our fugitive. Most wanted man in the zone. Over. 
What fucking bluebird? This is a restricted channel. Who the fuck is this? Fake dying. Improvise. Fake dying. Ah, I'm not gonna make it! I'm dying! Interesting. I've witnessed plenty of people dying, and no one's ever said it straight out like that. Now move. The last thing you want is for them to catch up to you and your bullshit. Literally. Okay. Where do we need to go? We need to get all the way over here. Dude, it's such a bad excuse, right? I'm dying! Nobody's ever proclaimed that they're dying when they are dying. I feel like I wouldn't know if I was dying. And that's like, you know, it was it was super obvious that you were just absolutely dead. I see a guy over there in full battle armor, stuck on a bench, mate. Okay, we gotta get in here. Well hidden little component that. Checkpoint assault. We're literally right in front of the spot then. I see two trucks. One of them's loaded with explosives, maybe. That's all. Go down there and take a closer look carefully. Oh. You didn't hear that, luckily. How the hell am I going to get inside this truck, mate? Can I take this guy out? Oh, it lets me. Okay, good. There's no one else around, so we're good. He said blue ball instead of blue bird. <laughs> Lol. Oof. It was dooming to fail, eh? Give me your carbine ammo. How do I get in here, then? Checkpoint assault. So, oh, here we go. I've got the uniform. Good. Now see if you can find anything on Ruslan. What was that? I, I just heard some noise. Oh, right. Oh, the door's open. Team that Rhino to combat ops. Team Rhino to combat ops. Over. Go ahead, Team Rhino. False alarm. No enemy contact. We're falling back to the truck. Over and out. Oh, Bring God. The fucking report, Igor. No. It seems they caught someone who enlisted under false name. They found out his real identity, Ruslan, and that he was wanted for double homicide in Moscow. Oh, my God, Sashko, I'm sorry. They... I think they killed him in order to deny any involvement. So, he's dead. I don't get to ask my questions then. What the hell is so important about these questions? This is your brother. Yeah, seen as double homicide. It was our parents. I think Ruslan might have been involved in their deaths. What are you saying? You think Ruslan killed your parents? I have no idea what happened. I wanted to find out from him directly. Now I never will. Tell him to let it go. Reassure Sashko. Well, I reassure her, man. Come on. You know your brother better than that. You and him saved your mum from your abusive asshole of a father. Do you honestly think he would harm her? Not intentionally, no, but maybe there was an accident, crossfire. I know you didn't get what you wanted, but you should trust in your memory of Ruslan. I'll see you back at the base. You're out of your goddamn mind if you think you're going back now. Whatever he did or didn't do, Ruslan is still my brother. I need you to avenge him. What? You should think things through first. Get some peace of mind. I don't want peace of mind. I want a piece of them. Mind the place and send those NAR fuckers back to hell. Agree or disagree? <laughs> shall, we, shall we lay some minds? What do you guys think? I think we need to help out our friend. Run, Forrest, run. Agree or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're, we're saying a lot of yeses here. I'm with you. Russell must be avenged. Appreciate it. 
now. Doesn't On the C4, grab the detonator and hide in the hospital. Wait for the right moment and press the button. Guarantee it gives me another choice to press the button anyway. Well, oh, what's up? Where's the C4 at? Just to... Yeah, blow stuff up, man. Love it. Yes, it's the detonator, Igor. Pick it up, please. On the C4! I've got the detonator. Hide. Wait for those fuckers to come back. Dude, I can't get out. What the hell? Mate, come on. Help me. Oh my god, come on. Oh god, they're coming. Okay. This is the hospital anyway. Checkpoint is over there. There's a lot of Chernobyl around here, though. So where is it? Is it above me? It's like 10 meters above me, so I think it's on the top floor. always have to run to the top of the hospital. Everything on this game happens at the top of the hospital. Take the lift shaft up. Jesus. Oh god, there's there's something in here with me. Shit. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Where did it? I'm going upstairs, mate. Get me. Oh, is this 22 meters down there? Wait, what? Oh, it's downstairs? Jeez. Jeez, Louise. I don't know where that creature went. Go downstairs. Those guys are at the uh, the C4 anyway. How's the game so far? What's up? That did end. It, it's really good so far. Really enjoying it, man. Fuck. It's gonna be down this bloody corridor, isn't it? Shotgun out. I'm very much enjoying it so far, man. But my god. Not enjoying this creepy thing coming around with me. Right, so it's at the other end. In this room. Okay, this is the room. Okay, great. I found it. Let's save the game here. Yeah, no, I think it's great so far, dude. Uh, you can grab it. It's only $30 actually, which is pretty cheap for like how much game you get for your money. Or 23 pounds in the UK from the link below. Wait, is that the... Is that the hermit? I see them. Whenever you're ready, but don't hesitate. Who's that? Some stumble bomb is closing in on the checkpoint. Is that Mikhail's friend? Blow it up before he gets any closer. Do it. What? No fucking way! That old bastard is way too valuable! Don't you fucking dare! Well, the checkpoint dot. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's really hard. So I think currently. Mikkel is in a bad spot with us. Sashka is also in a bad spot with us. Blow it up or not. I've laid everything else. The thing, I could have refused to help. Blow it up. Destruction. You guys wanted to blow it up. You guys are savage. Alright, you're blowing it up. I need Sashko and he needs his revenge. I can't kill innocent man just like that. Uh... Okay, blow it up. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, oh he's dead. It. For fuck's sake, he's got important contacts! We drank vodka together! Sorry. It had to be done. It had to be? Fuck you! If that really was some vagrant wandering around, I wouldn't give a shit! But he was really fucking useful to me! Fuck! Okay, we'll see how I react when we get back to a base camp. Okay, now our relationship with him is bad, but Sashko will like it, so that's good. It was avenging his brother, man. But by killing someone who is innocent, you have to do both. You have five skill points available. So if I look at companions now, we now have a stable relationship with uh, Sashko. Mikhail is now bad. Hmm. Difficult one. Vodka with strangers. I mean, you can't compete, can you? Have a look on the map here. There's nothing else for me to do. So. I think we'll travel back now. Get me out of here. I can hear something pouring around in here with me. I want to go back first and see how he reacts to it. Then maybe we'll reload and try the other option. Check the hermit's body. I don't think he has anything, to be honest. But I should have done that, yeah. Let's see Holy how he reacts. fucking hell! You just blew that poor asshole into pieces! Why? Why did you do that? I needed him! You have no idea how this fucks things up for me! Justify your actions. Show remorse. I had to make a split second decision and the hermit died. It's on me. If it wasn't for Sashiko and his stupid ideas. Show remorse. I'm sorry. I know he was your friend. Nah, he wasn't. But he was really useful. I'm disappointed in you, Igor. You let your emotions cloud your judgment and screw up my business. Okay, that's not that bad. He didn't threaten to leave like last time. Everyone was successful, especially Tarkan, who stayed in the base again. Except everyone gets one ration, obviously. Mike and Mikael rage quit. <laughs> Lol. Wow. We. Hey, Professor. Want to hear a funny story? Always. I don't have a choice, right? You know, the first time I saw you, I said to myself, that guy must be a load of fun at parties. Okay, check this out. My uncle Misha used to go to Ozersk to buy large quantities of alcohol and chocolate from the staff of Mayak nuclear power plant. This was in the 50s. Ah, oh, what a strange time that was. Whew. If you were working on a fucking A-bomb, you had your pick of all the delicacies denied to the rest of our motherland. What can I tell you? I don't approve of that kind of system, but I guess they needed to keep the scientists happy. Word has it it was easier for those guys to get brandy than carrots. So they started to trade with the villages nearby. So, Misha. For God's sake, I haven't got time for this. Wait, 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 wait. This is going to be good, I promise. So, Uncle Misha made contact with one of the Mayak workers. Nice girl. She snuck through a hole in the barbed wire fence to meet up with him. For a moment, Misha thought maybe they were going to have a, you know, romantic encounter. A little tit on tit or something. You mean a uh, tete a tete? What did I just say? Anyway, <laughs> as soon as she sees Misha, she pulls a gun on him. What? I know, right? And she's like, relinquish all your potatoes and carrots or I'll shoot. <laughs> Misha didn't scare easily. And he was also quite a charmer. So he dipped his hat and replied, for a kiss from your lips, I'll get you all the potatoes in the world, my fair lady. That's quite a story, Mikhail. But what happened to this Casanova uncle of yours? Oh, he was executed for speculation and whatnot. Barry didn't like how lax security had gotten, so he had a dozen guys lined up and shot as an example. Too bad. Sounds like a colorful character. 
That's the way the shit cookie crumbles. But he had a great fucking life. And that's what I'm going to remember. Love this guy. Can you try the other option? You guys really want me to reload that badly. Um, who else I need to speak to? Uh, we wanted to get a increase to our revolver. I mean, our assault rifle damage. So we need to speak to Olga. Where is Olga? There she is. I need to talk to you, Igor. Okay. Sure. Is something troubling you? Memories. According to my mom, life was actually pretty good around here before the accident. I know. I used to live here myself a long time ago. The details are a bit blurry, but I have warm feelings about the past. Right, then you must know that life in Chernobyl was better than in other parts of the Soviet Union. My mother told me that all the closed cities, the secret cities, offered creature comforts in exchange for secrecy and obedience. It was a privilege to live in such a place. You could always buy whatever you wanted. The streets were safe and the pay was decent. Everybody believed the authorities would protect them from any harm. They were such good comrades after all. They would have gladly given their lives for this country. And for what? All the cover-ups, the KGB worrying more about appearances and the state secrets than their own people. My mom's friend Katya was living in Kiev at the time of the Chernobyl catastrophe. She was pregnant. And only one week after the reactor blew apart, she marched in the May Day Parade of 1986. Can you imagine? It wasn't cancelled. What a crime. Okay, what two people the authorities me never to warned anyone. They claimed it was completely safe. They didn't give a fuck about them. They just wanted to keep a lid on it. Katya told my mom that by the end of the day, she and her husband had a strange purple tan on their faces and could barely catch their breath. Katya's son was born a couple of months later. He was very sick. I'm so sorry, Olga. You should be. You were part of this mess, even if you don't remember it. What the fuck? My apologies, Igor. I, I shouldn't. I, I had no right to. Literally. That's shut okay. up, man. These are painful memories. You have a right to be upset. Suddenly, it's true. Like, it's your fault, Igor. Fuck you anyway. Uh, we got. What oh yeah, I, I wanted to ask her to training, didn't I? That's Hi, awesome. Olga. Um, so perfect control. Here we go. Fantastic. We'll learn this. We'll save the day. To... No jokes while we're training, or I'll smack you upside the head. And then we will reload, so we can show you the other choice. Um, and then reload this save anyway, because I think we'll, we'll stick with this choice that I made. Welcome to your second lesson, Igor. Now I'm going to teach you how to handle your rifle in automatic firing mode. I'll let you know okay. a little secret. The fastest way to kill an enemy is to replace all their internal organs with lead at a rate of 700 rounds per minute. Okay, maybe it's not really a secret, but it is common sense. You're a scientist. You should appreciate that. You've already met your arch enemies, the cans. Now imagine you have to shoot them all at once. This exercise is about using full auto mode and emptying an entire magazine in one burst. You know the Petrov stance, right? Control the recoil and try not to tear up the clouds. Remember, I will terminate the training if you stop firing prematurely. Ready? All right. Okay, go. Fight you me. haven't emptied the entire magazine, have you? Please take this seriously. I think <laughs> you're getting the hang of it. Now reload and finish them off, you ugly tin bastards. What the hell? How did I lose? I fired one shot and lost all my ammo. What? <laughs> cans are dead, but you definitely scare the shit out of them. I think you now have a real fighting chance against your enemies. Well done, Igor. Two out of ten training, man. I mean, if we reload, though, all we're gonna see is, um, we'll be like, oh, don't blow it up. And then he'll be like, oh, why didn't you blow it up? And then that'll be it. You know what I mean? Is that that exciting? What's up, Igor? Tell oh, me about your drunk? time with Yura Kirpish. Why the interest all of a sudden? You tested me because you wanted to know who you were working with. Now I'd like to know more about you. Fair enough. Well, I did a few things I regret. Like what? The business he turned for its goods redistribution. You stole from the rich and gave unto yourself. Not myself. We used to have a, guess you would call it a fund. Something like a joint bank account. Everyone had to contribute. It was used to pay for our wages and bribe the police, but also to help anyone struggling, living in poverty. Yuri Kipish is one nasty motherfucker. 
He also takes care of his neighborhood. He sounds like a real hero. You don't get it. How could you? You never wondered where you were going to sleep at night or when you'd get to eat next. A lot of people are born into poverty. They don't all become criminals. A lot of people are living a life of quiet desperation. I don't agree with that. I don't give a rat's ass about other people's rights and wrongs. I define my own morality. Never ask for anything and make your own luck. That's my motto. That's pretty dark. I guess you don't have much hope for humanity. Oh, I do. I hope it fucks itself over for a good one day. Once and for all. That's a very good point, Dave. I find it so ironic. The same dude, Mikkel, um, was all gung-ho about blowing up a chopper earlier and hurting the NAR, yes. And then as soon as his, like, some guy who's a useful contact is nearby, he's like, oh no. But if it's a chopper that he doesn't know the inhabitants of, he's like, oh yeah, blow it up anyway. Like, that is very, very true. A good observation. Hey, about I can show do you. Do I have any points I have Actually, to Actually, no. I can't. I got one skill point left right now. So, um, let me have a quick look for my supplies here. We are all good. Um, yeah, we got t we, we're absolutely fine. I just don't need to craft anything anymore. I've got tons of uh, stuff, really. Yes, go to sleep. Bring on the next day. Be some bootleg Robin Hood. Quite literally, Jared. A silly bootlegger. Parkouring bootlegger. Let's have a look what quest we're going to have today. Wow, it's great to see you, Igor. I've got a fan-fucking-spastic plan that you need to hear. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, right, of course. Sounds fan-fucking-exciting. I didn't Stop quite work. bitching and be grateful there's someone here to do the thinking when you're not around. Anyway, listen up. I think the time has come to kill off the biggest knobber of them all. Ooh. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Who's on your shit list today? Drum roll, please! Da -la 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 -la. General Kozlov, the single biggest NAR twat of them all! Time to end his miserable life, pay back Ooh. for what he did to my friends, and for his other shameful deeds, of course. Can't forget that. <laughs> You've got friends? That's new. Yeah, very funny. This fucker and his cronies iced my boys. Don't you ever joke about that. You fucking hear me? His lapdogs captured us, tortured us. I got lucky. They just beat the ever-loving shit out of me and left me to die. Ask about his reasons. Ask about his crimes. Yeah, let's just ask about both of these options. What happened? You never wanted to talk about it before. Having electrodes clipped to your dong is not something you want to relive with casual acquaintances. I thought they were the five of us set up this warehouse together. It was me, Zena, Yuri, Ludmila, and Igor. Like yourself, we were the fucking Pripyat Five. Respected businessmen. And women. We provided, uh, essential goods and services for those who needed them. When NAR showed up, we tried to negotiate with them. But to this decrepit 20th century Kami Kozlov, we were just a bunch of hippie anarchists and drug dealers. Anyway, a perfect opportunity to exact revenge on this cocksucker's approaching. He's gonna give some kind of motivational speech to his private army of knobbers outside in Lenin Square. This sounds like a real opportunity. Taking Kozlov out is the only way to stop him from interfering with our plans. And to make him pay for his crimes, obviously. As much as I admire clean work, shooting him like a lame deer would be a mistake. We should make him talk first, learn everything we can so we can better prepare for our heist. Passwords, codes, guard routines. After we have what we need, then we off him. I also want to ask him about my brother. I need to know why he went to the trouble of killing Ruslan when he was just asking for a job. Mm. We are going to pull the Rat King's teeth one by one. Kozlov is one of his shiniest fangs and sharpest. But we should question him first. Killing him straight away would waste all the work we put into exposing his big plans and the end of the world and all that. I agree on one point. 
Kozlov must die. But we don't have time for fun and games. Just dispose of him quickly and get out. Maybe he does deserve to suffer. And perhaps he has some intel we could use. But the only way to make sure he can't interfere is to kill him right away. That's what I recommend. Attempt to kidnap him or decline to kill? Decline to kill him. Attempt to kidnap. Killing him off without asking questions seems premature. He might help us get into the power plant. Or I can decline to kill him myself. So I could let someone else kill him. Is that what that means? We shouldn't take any chances. Let's take him out. Ideas on how to proceed? You can count on me. Got a lot of practice hunting big game. First thing to consider, the proper vantage point. NAR's camp is located in the former palace of Culture Energetic. I assume you know it? Sure. I remember it. It's nothing but ruins now. You'll need to kill Kozlov from a distance. Go to the Policia Hotel, top floor. There's a guard posted there. A guard with a sniper rifle. Kill the guard, grab the rifle, kill Kozlov. Oh, but I, I want to kidnap him still. Confirm select. Maybe entering by the front gate would work. Ask about the escape route. Can, can I inquire, then change my mind? I don't know. What happens after I shoot Kozlov? They're going to come after me with everything. Of course they will. But the hotel is huge, and you've already proved you can take care of yourself. So you're saying I just run? No. You seem distracted today, Igor. Is everything all right? Yes, you just run. What the fuck are you talking about, Olga? We're not gunning him down during a parade like JFK. He doesn't deserve such an honor. He needs to suffer first. I want to see him suffer for what he did. When Kozlov's giving his bullshit pep talk, most of his drones will be in the main camp. Try to find the best route to the side entrance. You should be able to find some rat poison in the field kitchen. I suggest Ooh. you add some to Kozlov's morning tea, but not too much. We don't want him to die right away. All right. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to reload, because I know they want to poison him or snipe him. Though Those are two pretty cool things, but... I think if we kidnap him, we get a lot more information, which kind of just makes more sense to do, right? Like, why would we not do that? Let's reload this save. There's a lot of other options, though. I like how we want to kill people in this game. It, it makes sense. Like, the storyline does make sense. And I, I'm, it's really cool that there's, like, so many choices, right? Like, I, you guys are all saying kidnap. But I don't think anyone said that I should just kill him uh, or poison him. Because that would be boring, right? Like, we wouldn't know that he'd just be dead. Like, understanding what happened would be more valuable. Wow! Steady! <laughs> uh, you I'm just going to skip through. Ask about uh, his crimes. What happened? Uh, I made it. Might have taken one too many blows to the head. Uh, who knows? Anyway. A perfect he's good. And to make him we should make him better. We can maybe Let's just skip this and then I'll say attempt to kidnap. We need Koslov alive. I'm open to suggestions. I can definitely help with that. The actual camp is located in Energetic, the former palace of Kocha. There are two ways in. The main entrance is probably guarded, of course, but they only post two guards at the side door. You know the place, right? Yeah. I lived here a long time ago, but some of the details are fuzzy. It's not complicated. Those NAR fuckers just walked in and make themselves at home. The front entrance is a no-go, but the side door will be a breeze. The guard detail is very light. Insultingly so. And that's where you come in, or go in, or whatever. Kaslov's digs are on the top floor. Once you get inside, it shouldn't be hard for a man of your talents to slip past the guards. Security is a bit of a joke, like every fascist you ever met. They got cocky. They're not expecting anyone to snoop around. And remember, most of them will be distracted by Kozlov's speech. Maybe he'll even put them to sleep for us. This is a great opportunity, Mousy. The Rat King's minion will be vulnerable, alone, just waiting for you. The time has come to instill the fear of the great rat catcher in their black and shriveled hearts. Okay, I'm ready to talk to Kosloff. 
Okay, this is much more interesting going and talking to him. I like that plan much more. Why is everyone standing around me like this? This is the battle plan of the Battle Brothers. Avengers Assemble! This is no ordinary mission. It is more like trying to abduct a dragon from his own, de from his own den. Head, to head of NAR security is hiding in the place in a palace of culture called Engergik. Kozlov is a source of many useful information, so I need him alive. Okay, well, this is going to be rather exciting to say, to say the... You know, I should probably bring some more ammunition with me. Um, I have a lot of ammo, actually. I think I should be okay. I need some more ceramic plates, though. I'm going to make some more ceramic plates. Um, and then I've got 14 shotgun shots. That's pretty good. So more ceramic plates is what I need, I think. And I'm also going to get rid of my rad quickly. Let's just make sure we're full health there. I'll grab another med kit as well. Quickly make a uh, med kit. I'm going to make another one of these as well. Just heals you super fast. Um, and then I also need, I'll make one of these lock picks. Uh, and then we'll make a few more ceramic plates. So we've got full armor. And then we're good to go in there with a chance of actually surviving. Hitman returns. Here we go. Drop a like on the video, by the way, guys, because it really does help out if you haven't already. Okay, so we are going to Pripyat Central. There's going to be, I think, a very important quest in terms of options here. So who's going to get medicine? Doesn't really matter. Olga, you can go there. Medicine drop. Tarkam will actually send you out for once. Who's staying at home? Oh, no. I wanted you to go over here. Right, start mission. Yes. It's all going to kick off, guys. <laughs> Koslov, the most hated man in the zone. He's ruthless, but hardly a mastermind. Despite his civilized appearance, he may just be a mad dog unleashed by the NAR. Still, you could probably learn a lot from him. He could be your ticket into the power plant. True. But I think we're going to kill him, to be honest. I reckon I've already made up my mind. This guy sounds like an absolute demon. Even if Semenov seems to be the gears behind the operation. And we've already killed him, so... <laughs> you know, I think it's the best best thing we can do these people. So before we start, let's have a look at our companions, alright? Sasko is currently neutral. Um, Tarakan is too bad. So we can't really afford to do anything negative with him. Olga is too bad. We can't really afford to do much negative with her either. Mikkel is free negative thing, so we can't afford to do much negative with him as well. That's a difficult one. Um, then we have Oliver, who is currently great, so we don't need to worry about him. He loves us to bits. Now let's look on the map. So we have to go over here. This building is hot and it's hard to get in the front entrance, so I kind of want to go around the back here if I can. What's that? Back oh. What's going on? Kozlov is about to leave the NAR encampment. Very convenient timing, isn't it? Convenient indeed. So, change of plans? Traitor. Go to Hotel Policia, top floor. You'll have a great vantage point from up there. It will allow you to pinpoint Kozlov. Sounds good. Okay, okay, change of plans? Oh, I was already Excellent. doing that. We should pursue this plan. This will bring us closer to defeating the Rat King. You're one psycho geezer, Terracan. But I like you because you love to stir shit up. Working with you is a real pleasure. You may be far from divine enlightenment, Sashka. But your heart is in the right place. Ah, uh, what a day. What a shitty, shitty day. It has similarities to Tarkov, but it's not multiplier. It, it's like a whole storyline with multiple choices that are actually meaningful. 
Um, I'm very much enjoying the gameplay of it so far. He can pass this guy so he can see us. Um, but in terms of like, yeah, like how it looks, it is similar to Tarkov, but the AI in Tarkov is much better. I've not played Tarkov, but I, the AI in this game is not very good. Right, when you've got to get inside now. Wait for this guy to get out of my way. And that guy over there is just about to turn around, so we can probably sneak inside again. One last sweep and I'm done. Great. A game with meaningful choices. I know, right? Like, it's just something that doesn't happen anymore. Mate, I'm getting tons of rads for some reason. I'm gonna get out of here. Usually games have the perception of choice, but it rarely actually has any meaning whatsoever to how it actually plays. Am I hidden? Dude, this is not good. Not good at all. I'm just going to carry on going. Yeah, I'm probably get out of his way quick enough. Worried he'll see me from behind. Upstairs, man. Ooh, someone heard that. Oof. No one's on the roof, though. So we good. Right, I think we got to get upstairs, though. That's what you say there. Oh, Taser, you made a video. What's your YouTube channel? Later Taser. I have to get everyone to check it out. Uh, Keslov kidnapping. Right. It is upstairs. It's up there. There must be, like, a way up here. Maybe we missed, like, the staircase, though, right? There's a guy in that room. I assume there's a staircase into this main building. I hope we run into some rabbit. I've always wanted to shoot a dog. Good. Is this a lift? A lift right here. Oh, there's a staircase. Let's go up. Proper Soviet looking building, isn't it? Eh? Doesn't look like there's anyone upstairs, to be honest. Have a look. Jeez. Okay, we could have used the lift, I guess, but my god, it spooks me. Look at this view, dude. Yeah, that's sick. Love that. Alright, let's save game here. Shit. Oh my god. Lucky he wasn't facing the other way. I didn't think there was anyone up here. Didn't even bother scanning anything. Right, we're on the clear now anyway. As long as no one buzzes his radio. Great vantage point here. There's our man. I'm on the top floor, and I found some binoculars. Good. Lack famous bold mouses like yourself. I see him. General Koslov in the flesh. The chief rat. Now listen closely, Mousy. His living quarters are in the building on your right, top floor. The time for action is now. Gather your courage and go, Mousy. Uh, what about a little help? Perhaps some kind of diversion? Yes. Luring the other predators away is always a good idea. Use the generator to power up the ferris wheel. 
Its lights will attract them like moths. Like moths? That might work for a minute or two, but it will last. Do you have a better idea? I might. Shut down the generator instead, and they'll be blind. Then you'll have no problem sneaking past the guards and getting to your target. I kind of want to turn on the fair as well, because it'll look cool. <laughs> I don't really care about killing more guards or sneaking past them. Do we have a choice now? Kidnapping's over here. Imagine if I could just snipe him from here. Like. Oh, well, we, we don't need to kill him anyway. We've got to... Got to work our way out the back here, I think. I think that's the best course of action. I'll take the lift this time, since it's here. I can actually use it. Or is it just, it just works? Oh, Jesus Christ, we're lucky we went like a moment earlier. I wonder if I can fall off this roof without severely injuring myself. Test it out. Oh wait, there's a is that a scaffolding I can get down? There's a guy right there. Probably jump in this bush before he sees me. Oh, there's quite a couple of guys here actually. Okay, so we need to get down this pathway. Nice little area with benches. A lot of heat over here. I'm gonna stick to the bushes, I think. What, what game are you waiting the servers to go live for? Coming over here. I am on Discord. So all my socials are linked down below in the description if you're interested. I just tend not to ever mention them. That guy's not going to see me. I'll probably take this guy out. As long as he doesn't just randomly turn around. Don't turn around, dude. We're good. That fuels my hunger. <laughs> Indeed. Getting loads of rads. Hey. Let's save the game here because I reckon it's going to get spicy. Can I actually get upstairs here? No, there's no other room. I think we're going to have to go in this building here. Get in this one. Dude, there's like bloody creatures all over this place. Why don't let me jump up there? Keep thinking they're actually like out of their cage, but they're not, so we can go past quite easily here. Yeah. You can watch out for this roasty. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Don't turn, don't turn. Good, good, good. Thank you, brother. We need to get to the staircase. Come on. Uh oh, 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 oh. You're gonna spot me. Oh, that must have been very close. Jesus Christ. They can't see me anymore. We're good. And we get the door. Are you excited for Stalker 2? Yeah, definitely, man. Very excited for that. Right, okay. 
He's walked past. Thank you. Can't take him out, other guys will see us. Hopefully he doesn't turn around anytime soon. If he does, we are screwed. There's some info. Oh Jesus, he's turning around. That's not good. There's some more clues upstairs. There's two guys in this room. That's not ideal for us. Right. We need to get to the other side of this building, then. Stay there. It's working. Get me to this door. Oh jeez, there's another guy up the corridor there. I just want to check out this room again though. Okay, that's right, he's not coming inside. We got time? Love the eerie music. It is very nice and immersive, isn't it? I want to check out this place. There's a gun. And also this computer screen. Finally, oh. some definitive proof. Tetiana is at the power plant. There we go, General Kozlov. This is from uh, Repotic. I don't know. Okay, it's situated in the Delta FOB. I have no choice but to call for fine. Okay, right. So this is his office as well. I would like to strongly remind you that our main Chernobyl art research asset, Atiana, especially, is located at the power plant and securing this facility should remain our top priority. Other considerations are secondary. Keep in mind that time is not on our side. Okay, so we know she's there. We didn't need uh, Semenov to find her. Ooh. So now we should be able to find out the the final sort of story of the girl in the red dress, our wife, and what happened to her as well. I've just got to get through this building unnoticed so we can get to Seminole and kidnap him. I don't know if I can take this one out with the other guy not spotting me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, how the fuck? How did he not see me? Okay, I'll take it. Okay, I'm at the generator. Are they going to stop? Are they going to spot me? Reroute power or cut the power? What do we want to do? Let's get that ferris wheel spinning. That should distract the mercs. Yeah, I mean, that was Tarkan's idea. He currently doesn't like us. And this will be fun to watch. Let's do it. Fucking hell, are you seeing this? The ferris wheel? How the hell is it working? Look out! What the hell was that? Contact the camp. Do it now. They must have noticed, right? Better make sure. Just follow the damn protocol. CEO, this is Team Beta. CEO. The ferris wheel just uh, came alive, and then... We can see it, Team Beta. Sending reinforcements. Secure the area. See you out. Oh. That was quite a sight, Nancy. It was kind of spectacular, I'll give you that. But cutting the power would have been more effective. We've destroyed that sacred... Okay, Tarkin liked this. We've destroyed the sacred monument of Chernobyl. That was sacred because it was in the Call the of Duty campaign back in the day. It was COD 4, wasn't it, I'm sure. Are there any people left in there? G 
Jesus, they're all bloody standing there. That's why they are. I mean, sneaking to this was harder than kidnapping Cal Kozlov, I guess. Is he upstairs, though? I can go up here, actually. It's going to be much more efficient. Is he in his office? I assume that's him right there, right? There's also a note downstairs. I think I already picked that up. Though, 90% sure I did when we were here last time. What for the commotion? Don't even think about reaching for that sidearm, General Kozlov. Intimidate him. Be straightforward. Sometimes people respond surprisingly well if you just tell them like it is. He surely didn't expect that. I have to press him now. So we intimidate him or be straightforward? I feel like intimidation, but I'll let you go outside. Yeah, cold four. Be straightforward. You think so? You guys are you guys are too nice. Straightforward. Oh, we got two straightforwards. One one intimidation. Hmm. Straightforward. Okay. Intimidate. Oh, we're even. Three intimidates. Kiss him. I don't know what category that would be. Is that intimidating to kiss another man? I mean, he's wearing a mask. So that might be difficult. Okay, I reckon. Straightforward. Okay, we got a lot of straightforwards. Yeah, all right. We'll go with that. I'm not interested in talking to you, but I need to find Tachana, and you're in my way. Is that so? Those few words you just said tell me you have no idea what's going on here. Damn. Come on! He's just trying to weasel his way out of it! Kill him now! Don't let him get in your head! I'm sorry, General. I'm not that kind of person. But you leave me no choice. Wait! You're making a huge mistake. I can tell karate. you a great many things. Useful information. He's full of shit! Just pop him and blow! You want to know about Tatiana, right? Then you found the right man. Let's talk. Kill him or abduct him? What do you guys want to do? I think intimidating would have been the smarter choice. <laughs> we immediately told him that we didn't know anything and that we were here. <laughs> oh, one kill. Abduct. Kill him. Intimidate. Yeah, we're past that point. Abduct. Yeah, I mean, if we if we kill him, then it just like ends there, right? We kill him, we don't have any info. Whereas if we abduct him, like it will carry on, and the story will be more interesting. So we'll abduct him. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll bite, but you better have answers. Did you oh, think nice. I would be impressed? I've seen these things before. Don't make your situation any worse than it already is. Move. I got you, Seven. Oh, we're doing it here? There's no way anyone will find us here. We gotta save the game right here, man. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Team assemble. A big moment. Gonna be some big decisions to make, I'm sure. So, this is what it looks like from the inside. Surprised? I guess you're not all knowing after all. <laughs> Let's say terrorist hideouts are not my department. But I know everything I need to know. Is this a family meeting? What a pity. I thought we were going to talk man to man, Professor Kaminiup. What the fuck? Why did you bring this asshole here? You were supposed to punish him for what he did, and then leave his corpse as an example. My poor back. fellow. I suppose you expect me to acknowledge you and apologize for something I've done. Sadly, I am forced to disappoint you. I have no idea who you are, nor do I care. I don't like this one bit. Let's put an end to this, and fast. You should be careful with that one, Kaminiuk. 
Women are often far more cruel than men. I've seen her kind in... Well, it hardly matters. What about you, old man? Still chasing ghosts? Did you ever find your mysterious Rat King? Perhaps you should have stayed in the institution. At least they kept you properly fed. Sashko Horovitz. I admire your craft, but there's nothing I can do for you. Or your brother. We'll see about that. Are we done with introductions? Let's get to it then. You seem to be the most reasonable of this gang of colorful misfits. I was hoping you and I could have a civilized conversation. I know exactly what you're doing. It isn't particularly clever or original, and it's not going to work. What am I doing? I am a professional who happens to be on the other side of the fence. Just a man trying to do his job. I have a nephew that I very much want to see. So, go ahead and ask your questions. When you're satisfied, I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. Your nephew? Yeah. Tell me about him. He's ten years old. He's from Magnitogorsk, like his father and me. And he's the smartest kid I know. I don't believe for one moment that you could harm him. It simply isn't your style, Professor. Besides, you don't even know where he is. I think do we do. not assume to know me, Koslov. That would be a mistake. I think... Isn't that the kid we found in the prison? He's... He... The kid said, my uncle is a very scary man, so, like, you know, don't harm me or anything. Um, and he just said, I have a nephew. And that's the only other kid we found. He was in the prison being used probably as leverage against um, uh, Kezarov because that's why he wouldn't attack the village because they were using his kid. Uh, and that's why um, so he wouldn't attack because otherwise they'd just kill him um, as blackmail. That's very clever. And that's why there were so many NAR in the forest region. That makes sense. Um, also, another interesting point. I kind of, we, we assumed as much because we, we knew that anyone exposed to Chernobylite is talking about Cthulhu or the Rat King. Um, and it was then revealed that Tarkan actually escaped the facility, which explains he was dosed with Chernobylite. But um, he's still very much sane in there, which is, well, somewhat sane, which is interesting. He, we also know something about Sashko's brother. So we've got a lot of things to investigate here. Very exciting. Ask about the NAR experiments. Tell me about the experiments. What is Semenov doing in the lab? I wish I could tell you. But as with tracking down trespassers, that is not my department. My task was to ensure Semenov could work undisturbed. You lie. I've seen everything. I've even studied Chernobylite myself. How can you claim to know nothing about it? I know about its applications, yes. I know that it can act as an unlimited energy source that it can be used in transportation, medicine, and can even be weaponized. But I don't know any details about its implementation. I'm not a scientist, just an old soldier. Yes, I suppose that's true. Look, I'm not a personal friend of Semenov. His findings may be profound, but at what cost? Remember, it was Semenov who botched the experiment that released the shadows into this world. Can you guess how many people I've lost fighting those things? Don't ask me where these creatures came from, because I have no idea. From a nightmare, perhaps. Semenov has a god complex. He believes he can advance the human race, a bold claim, especially in this part of the world, no? We lived in the shadow of people who wanted to turn us simple bread eaters into angels for almost the entire century. But I've been around, I've seen things, so you can understand why I'm skeptical when I hear such claims. I believe that. And it's exactly what we saw in the, the vision. It was really Semenov was the gears behind the operation, despite him being the, sem the, the scientist. Let's ask about it. Semenov may be the brain, but he isn't responsible for the atrocities in the zone. That's your doing. Hmm. <clears throat> you seem like a smart fellow, Kaminyuk. Why would you buy into this nonsense? What do you mean? Whatever Semenov told you, he is the real puppet master. Yeah. He has great influence over the board. The board? The big money people in the tailored Italian suits. The people who make money by making money. 
Semenov convinced the board he's going to transform NAR into a trillion dollar business. To them, he's like an investment banker messiah. Semenov isn't rounding people up and torturing them, filling mass graves with civilian corpses. That's you. Well, naturally, you'll get a distorted view of what's going on when you only hear one side of the story. Uh-huh. What's your side of the story, then? Isn't this is a war zone. I am responsible for keeping my men safe and doing my job. Some collateral damage is unavoidable in any conflict. But trust me when I say I've already had a bellyful of civilian misery. I do my absolute best to keep their suffering to a minimum. I genuinely believe that, actually. Ask about Tatiana. I'm only really interested in one thing. Where is Tatiana? That ghost you're chasing. That pretty dream. I don't know what to tell you. You're the head of security. Am I to believe you're not privy to everything that goes on at the power plant? Professor Kameniuk, listen. I am here to earn a little extra money so I can retire someplace nice and send my nephew to an Ivy League university. I have zero interest in anything that doesn't directly concern my men and my job. If you don't tell me, I swear. I cannot tell you what I do not know, Professor. Semenov is the authority in this area. Talk to him if you want to know more about the experiments or this Tatiana girl. Hmm. I genuinely believe that. And we've killed her, but we know she's in the power plant because we've got enough information about it. End interrogation and ask about the password for the power plant. How do I enter the power plant? You're placing me in a very awkward position. You want me to divulge information that may lead to casualties among my men and the civilian staff. <laughs> You've got a real nerve talking to me about civilian casualties. I can't believe you would try that again. What is the password and response for accessing the power plant? Don't be stupid. You and your merry band of trumps will never make it out of the power plant alive. I don't care. Do you know where we are right now? No. I don't understand it, this place. But let's skip the guessing game and you just tell me. We are currently in the tunnel between two singularities. It's like a black hole, only smaller. This tunnel is a shortcut through time and space. Marvellous, isn't it? But to use it, you need to know how to enter and how to leave. Ah, I see where this is going. Do you? I don't have to kill you. I can simply leave you here. But don't count on dying anytime soon. Time dilation will ensure that you don't. You will never see your nephew again. But perhaps I will release you to attend his funeral when he's died of old age. I can see that your companion's cruel nature is beginning to rub off on you. Very well. Are you ready to cooperate now? If you lie to me, I will return and it won't go well for you. The call is, we quell the storm. The response, and ride the thunder. Thank you. I'm glad we had this chance to talk. Ooh. What to do with you now, eh? It's too dangerous to let him live. I believe we already agreed on that. I want to ask him about wrestling fast. He's mine. I want him to experience a slow descent into hell. Fucker! He's just a tool of the Rat King. He told you everything of value already. Do not let this rodent roam free. He can still do great damage to our cause. More even than before. Kill Kozlov. Or let him go. What do we want to do? Kill him or let him go? Obviously, if we let him go, we have a bunch of followers that are going to hate that, I would have assumed. It's quite cool that we could use... Because we did his quest about his nephew and we let his nephew, like, survive. Um, that we could use him as leverage against him, though. Let him go or the nephew is without a ward. Yeah, but the nephew's in a village. Every like, pretty much everyone here wants him dead. Kill, kill. Okay, most of the chat's saying kill as well. Hmm. Okay. 
That'll probably be the question of what we do with all of it after, but I'm gonna say kill Sorry. them. Sorry. I can't let you go. You're making a mistake, Professor. One you will dearly regret. How? Let Olga do it. I guess letting her do it will be the best for everyone. Let Sashka do it. I promise Sashka that he can have more time with Keslov before killing him. Let Tarakan do it. Perhaps killing a rat minion will somehow help him regain his inner peace. Let Mikhail do it. Too bad for Kozlov, but I need Mikhail to quench his thirst for blood so he can stay focused on our mission. I think Sashko and Mikhail have the biggest um, reason to do it, but the thing is, is I think currently Olga is, is not a companion that likes us. So I feel like giving a boost to her character um, will keep everyone in the team. So I feel like the tactical choice would actually be to let Olga do it. And I think that's what I'm going to go for because then it keeps everyone like in the squad and no one wants to leave. Mikhail will go neutral with you. Yeah, I've no doubt. I've no doubt. Hey, one sec. The only person who isn't here is Olivier. And also, we know that they got warned. So is Olivier actually a double spy working for them? Because he's not here. Why isn't he here? Let him go. He talked. Mikhail, yeah. You guys are saying Mikhail. If we let Elga do it, then it was, will be the best for everyone. I don't think anyone will genuinely dislike me. We've already let Sashko take revenge with the mines. I mean, Mikhail, we've done so many things, we've blown up stuff. I'm going to let Elga do it. Olga should do it. I take your pleasure reload later. this, but it needs to be done. I promise it'll be quick. Go, Igor. You don't need to see this. Aww. What a kindness. I suppose I should be grateful. Quest completed. I guess you wouldn't have seen anything different. It's just like one companion likes it if you do that. Two skill points. Very nice. Get Rex on. Let's go. It'd be interesting to see what happens to Oliver since he's still alive. Where was Olivier? I mean, not Oliver, Olivier during this whole sequence. Okay, well, everyone was successful on their missions. That's. Oh, no, Tarakan failed. Okay, well, no food for you. Just joking, everyone gets the normal ration since we have such a surplus of food. Okay, let's quickly eat to all guys. Howdy, stranger. Got a sec? For you, always. I was just thinking about my mom again. The things she did, the things she saw. She was really something, wasn't she? Her career started long before Chernobyl. In the 60s, she was already working at the NKVD hospital in Moscow. She was treating other scientists for radiation exposure because, you know, some of them didn't care that much about their own safety. Oh, I know. There are legends about Kurchatov himself stomping in and out of the first Soviet reactor room without proper protection. They were all careless. My mom told me they behaved like irresponsible children. She especially remembered one very young lab worker who loved to scare his female colleagues. They would paint his lips, nose, and fingers with powdered radium and wait in a dark room to surprise them. My wow. God. So his face would glow in the dark. Funny joke, right? And all it cost him was his life. I hope we're not repeating this kind of mistake with Chernobylite. Who knows? Perhaps we're Probably. slowly killing ourselves just by being close to it. Until we know more, everything we do is a risk. But we have no choice. I know, I know. I just want you to be careful, okay? Of course. So, yeah, I mean, we used to have radioactive watches, wallpaper, many people died of it, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't doubt it uh, at all. Do we need oh, training? Okay. Can she train me? No, we finished pretty much everything with her. Actually. Okay. Great. Um, so, I just want to check my companions. So, currently, we've done very well. 
The only person who has a bad relationship with us is Mikkel. Everyone else is absolutely neutral or great with Olivier. I think we've done quite well so far, you know, like we've killed two of the main bad guys. I think the next part of the story is going to be if I have enough clues to find the woman in the red dress. We're almost there. I want to quickly, uh, do I, need to, I mean, I took loads of ammo on this mission. I didn't even shoot my gun once, I don't think. Quite funny. Stay away from rats, Mousy. <laughs> For sure. I can't stand those furry little ankle biters. We'll build an aeroplane. We'll soar above the forests. We'll soar above the forests. And then we'll come back to Mama. But Mama isn't there anymore. Where is Mama? Oh, you're always creeping me out, Tarakan. Mama was taken by the Rat King. One, two, three. The Rat King is always watching. Taken where? To Ozersk. Mama was a chemical engineer. She helped build the power source for the very first Rat King. Ozersk? City 40? The Rat King gave the order to hundreds of thousands of mice. And the poor little creatures kept on digging, 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 digging. In the rain, in the mud, in the snow, in the freezing cold. Many died. When the big hole was finally ready, they built the device. Your mum was there? Then she vanished. She turned into stardust. They always do. Mama was close. Close enough to see everything. She was discovering the mysteries of the Rat King's energy. The key to Chernobylite. Oh, I'm sorry, Tarakan. I know how it feels to lose someone you love. Oh, mate. Hey there. What can you train me in? Crafting cheaper or oh, software upgrade for the environmental analyzer. Might as well get that. Fantastic. Yep. I'm ready to learn. I always enjoy Tarakan teaching me things. Okay, Mousy. I upgraded your PDA. The scanner now uses much less energy and charges faster. It's useful when you need to find something to eat. Let's go hunting. We may as well stock up while we practice. Use the upgraded PDA to track down and shoot some small game. What? There's game in this game? I didn't know there were animals. What the hell? I've legit never seen an animal in this game. What? What? There's rabbits. Why have I never... How have I... Why have I never seen a rabbit? Right in between the eyes. Get wrecked. Remember to take the meat. We're not doing this for fun. No, I was just doing it for fun, mate. Get wrecked. Come back here. We should thank the great rat catcher for blessing us with this. Run for me, rabbit. Flee for your life. Oh my god. Point blank shot to the back of the head. What a savage. Damn. All right, Mousy. It seems you've got the hang of it. Well done. Well done, Mousy. Mal here, Mousy, Mousy. It had to be done. We have to eat, man. Never actually tried rabbit, so can't retell really you. Got so much ammo, please, please, Louise. Right. Um, who else did I want to talk to? Can we talk to Olivia? What's going on, Igor? Oh no, not got anything good. How about how are things, Professor? <laughs> hey, let about me just quickly see what else you can train us in. Oh, Actually, you have no skill points I... right now. Yeah, let's leave them. Pretty much got most of the. Well, all of the good packs we wanted in the game. Alright. I have a bed. And it's will the next day. The refuge. 
Adriana's plans. But I think the next thing. Igor, oh. I need to tell you something. Remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village? I wasn't entirely honest with you. All right. I don't know exactly how it works, but Mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance. He has this strange powder. He calls it dust, but it's secret. Only a handful of people even know it exists. Dust? Why are you telling me about this? Because I can see you for what you are now. And what's that? A legend. A forthright and honorable man. Maybe a little awkward in social situations. Anyway, it'll help us in your heist. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. Simping has paid off, my friends. The White Knight is getting his just desserts. Remain skeptical. Keep an open mind. Well, if it works, there must be something to it. I should definitely look into it. You should. Okay. <laughs> I'll check it out first okay. chance I get. I'll check it out right now. Let's see what this is. Uh, so we're going to go to the Red Forest. Oh, it's called Black Stalker. Olga's village is one of the few pieces few places still standing since the shadows have appeared. To chase them away, they use a strange powder. I need to examine it and find out why the Chernobylite creatures are avoiding it. So now we'll go there. Where is the Red Forest? It's at the back. It looks pretty clean, actually. It should be okay. Yeah, so um, about the safe dude. I didn't answer your question earlier. Um, we haven't actually opened that safe, but I believe I've now got what I need to open it. It's just a question of the next time I'm there, I need to remember to actually grab the safe. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and start the mission. Are you ready? <laughs> Always ready. <laughs> Magic powder? It's not really your style to believe in such things, is it, Igor? Still, oh, if there's any truth to it, it could be your best chance to defeat the shadows, and perhaps even him, the Black Stalker. A Black Stalker. Jordan, thank you so much for the super chat. Danny, tell Taser to accept my mod application. Um, yeah, I mean you can do. Does I mean Jordan is a very trustworthy person. He's he's been uh, on the Patreon for a long time supporting me, so like. I have absolutely no qualms with him being a mod. I'll leave it up to you, Taser. Sort it out. So, we're just here on the map. I need to go over here. There's something going on just there. I want to check that out. And then we'll go... Watch over out for those bastards, Igor. I heard on the radio that they're sending more troops to Red Forest. Of course they are. Can't see anyone though. Right, so we've got to get all the way over there. Gonna avoid the train track area. I wonder if we can find the kid who's uh about that. I didn't even see him, man. The last time there was a locked train here, but I quickly want to confess this shit. Give me all those rads, mate. Yeah, I think it was in here. There's like a locked thing at the back. Got a lockpick now. We'll take some more food. There's some ammo really far underground. I think that's actually where the underground base leads. There's just an upgraded shotgun here. Not as good as my shotgun, though. Great. Usually there are loads of mutants around here, so... Always good to take... Take caution to the wind, eh? Grab these ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and build. We've never really used traps in the game, they've just never really been that relevant. Um, build this to slow down radiation. Some green Olga, in there. we've got a situation here. What's wrong? 
your village. It looks abandoned, destroyed, burned down. What? Oh, God damn it. Oh, well, check it out. Find out what happened. I think I know how it happened. I think I know what we did. Oh, boys. You know that traitor that we didn't kill? I reckon it was him. Because that's the only change that happened in the village. I, and that and the child going there. But I think it was the kid we gave the food to who got rid of the, the main guy in charge who had this magic dust that we didn't know about. I think we may have caused this. I don't know for sure, but I think... Who's this guy? Is that an NAR soldier? No. didn't kill him. I assume he's friendly. Lucky that I didn't kill him. Hey, you made it. My favorite stalker. Thanks again for saving my life. What? He's here. Dude, we saved this guy the last time we were here. He was like, he was about to get executed by some soldiers and we saved his life. And now he's actually like, they bothered to write in something into the game that he's actually says he's thank. That's crazy. No other game ever thinks of this. Or very rarely. This was like a tiny side thing that's inconsequential, but they actually put effort into it. Where he gets his inventory? What are you doing here? Still here, huh? Well, I can't get past the perimeter and I don't want to join the NAR, so I don't have much of a choice. I'm trying to get by just trading. Exchange food for what? Oh, now he's a trader. This is, this is great. Um, food for weapons. What do you have? Are you selling any? Uh, of course. I can buy a shotgun or a revolver. You have him in all kinds. I, mean, I don't need any of this stuff, but we can get all our ammo for him. Pretty cool, man. How do I get in here? Oh, it's a lot of it. There we go. A lot of food in there. Just immediately give it to him, but I won't. So. I can see some NAL soldiers at the back there, and that's also where there's a mysterious thing to investigate, so go over there. It looks like there's gas coming out of there though, right? There's only one soldier there. Because you forgot to top off the radiator with water, dumbass. That's why the fucking engine overheated. Come again? No, fuck you! You're the one who's supposed to top it off. That's your job. It's your fucking fault. Oh, really? You're such a good driver, are you, huh? God. Then for fuck's sake, drive here and pick me up. Christ! I'll pick you up, bro. Don't worry. I'm gonna find a body when he gets there. <laughs> Rob him for everything he's caught. What's up, bro? Never caught you streaming? Thanks so much for stopping by, man. Always appreciate someone new in the, in the chat. We're quite deep into Chernobyl, I'm not gonna lie. the rad set. I'm just going to investigate what the hell happened to Olga's village. Make a save here. It's pretty abandoned, right? We don't need to go through the front entrance anymore. Whoa, is Sweet dead? mother of God, Gleb! What's going on? Talk to me, goddammit! Your people are all dead. I'm so sorry. And Gleb, too. What are you saying? The kid was safe in the bunker, locked but safe. And now you have a child's blood on your hands. It's my fault. I sent him straight to his death. No, no, no. Are you sure that everyone's gone? Lugosia, Medve. I don't know, Olga. Just take a look around. See if you can find out what happened. I will. What? Yeah, but the alternative was leaving him, him in a prison cell to starve, man. Like... I do think this was the guy we gave food to, though. Like, we let him in the village and he's, he's done this. 
because I can't see his body anywhere. He was wearing a red armor with a gas mask, a red clothing. Dude, is there any loot? Not that I can see inside the village. Oh, even the pigs are dead, mate. What about barn guy? We never discovered what was in the barn. Damn it. How am I meant to figure out what happened here then? Oh, what's this? I found something else. More dead? No. It's a tape recorder. Your name is written on the tape. Okay, uh, play the tape, Igor. My okay. beloved Olga. My sweetheart. I made a terrible mistake. I only wanted you to see what I saw. That Matve is a tyrant. That he's hiding things from us. And that he was putting everyone in unnecessary danger. I needed to weaken him so I could make things right. For us, I spiked the food. I thought I knew what I was doing, but someone mixed up the pots and the anesthetic ended in everyone's meals. I woke up to gunshots in the middle of the night. NAR stormed the village and killed everyone in their sleep. Only I survived because I ran. I ran like a coward. I wanted to prove myself to you so bad. My scheming got everyone killed. So this is it, my love. My confession. I was never a religious type, but I will go and ask the dead for forgiveness before I join them. It's the only decent thing left for me to do. Goodbye, Olga. What? I can't believe it. I can't do this. I can't handle this. Admit knowledge of his plans. Don't disclose knowing about the plan. I knew that. How would, oh, I knew that was like the one story that absolutely baited me. And we followed it all the way through to the end. And it just went so terribly wrong. Oh, dude. What do we do now? Do we tell? Do we tell them? What do you guys think? Don't disclose. Mm. I think we need to tell her. I think... I think let's, let's see what happens. I kind of want to see... I need to, her to trust me and lying grow build any trust. Aggravating Olga further won't be any helpful. What's done is done. Let's just come clean. We didn't know what the extent was. There's more. This is hard for me to say, but... I knew Kostya was up to something. What are you saying? He... He wanted to prove himself to you. To show that Matvey wasn't fit to lead. I took him at his word. He promised to help me in my mission. I'm not interested in your excuses right now. I want you to go to that cemetery and find Kostya. So you had to blurt out everything just to feel better, huh? It won't help Olga. She has suffered enough. Sasko got bad. Relationship is now bad. Sasko would not like this. Kind of weird. Why did he not like it? Surely it should be the other way around. I don't know. That was, I didn't expect that outcome. I, I want to reload and see the other um, choice to this one. See what... See what happens if we don't tell her the truth. <laughs> Magic powder? It's not really your style to believe in such things, is it, Igor? I would have thought it would be the other way around, yeah. Time travel. 
Yeah, I know you can time travel, but it takes effort. I could just reload the save and show you guys the other alternative. His brother's death, indeed. Right, so. Backstalker, yeah. Let's go in there. Sweet you know. mother of God! Gleb! What's going on? Talk to me, goddammit! Your people are all dead. I found something else. More dead? No. Okay. And then he was spiked. I woke up cold. <laughs> okay, don't disclose knowledge about a plan. I'm terribly sorry, Olga. I had no idea. Of course not. Why would you? Please go look for Kostya. Oh, so your relationship with Olga got worse. Kind of, it doesn't make any sense because she wouldn't know. But now I have to find him, right? So there may be uh, an implication to that. Oh, there's still something here for me to discover that I missed. We'll have to go back there later. But, okay, let's let's run over to this other location and let's see see uh, what he's doing. What the fuck happened here? Looks like someone did us a solid. Still, we need to find this white powder shit. Huh? Are you talking about the kind you put up your nose? No, we've got that at the base already. This is something else. Get me out of here! Okay, those any arseholes just showed up out of nowhere. Jeez. Kind of cool that they just appear there to investigate everything. Yeah, very hard. I don't think the other one's good either. Yeah, I feel like there's no outcome that's positive. And sometimes that, that should be what the game's like, you know? There should be like, this is the clear good choice, but it was very much like a mysterious grey area. Like, there wasn't really a good way of dealing with that situation. Like, do you try and make her feel better or not? Like, I feel like she shouldn't have disliked me, though, because she didn't know um, that I did or didn't know. Oh, jeez, I'm getting loads of radiation somewhere. Wait, oh my god, he, he killed him. That gun I just picked up, he killed himself. Olga, I... I found Kostya. He's... Yes? He shot himself. It was quick. <laughs> I'm so... so sorry. I didn't see that coming. Oh, they did. Dad, please, please give me a moment. Whoa, okay. Yeah, there's the gun in his hand. Whoa, that's dark, man. That is dark. So there's something else over here. Jesus. This isn't really a cemetery, is it? It looks more like a mass grave. I know, but it gives this awful place a kind of dignity, doesn't it? NAR used to dump bodies here. Phosphorus, slight lime. In time, it'll burn everything up. I found my mom there. What's left of her? What? Why didn't you tell me? Any other secrets you'd like to share? I didn't want you to know about this place until now. Besides, everyone has secrets. The only question is, how harmful are they? I'll check the bones, if you don't mind. How do they die? I guess this is where they get the black powder from magic black powder that keeps away the what am I doing eating it oh okay so it makes the Chernobylite stop working has an effect on it burnt bones are they unbelievable is it possible they were telling the truth what's going on Remember when I told you about Chernobylite being a giant turtle that supports the Earth? It, it, it could be true, well, at least partially. What do you mean? It seems to be organic. Moreover, it shows signs it. of basic cognitive functioning. Uh, to put it plainly, it learns. That's why it avoids the lye and phosphorus. <laughs> Incredible. That explains why the shadows won't touch it. I have no idea how Matvey came up with this. But he hit the jackpot. You can tell me the rest when you get back. Bring the dust. I told you to return to the UK, Igor. 
But I see you didn't listen. Well, it's understandable in a way. You're constantly interfering in everyone's business. You're the wild card of the zone. There's no telling if you'll end up on the side of the heroes or the rats. You're talking gibberish. You think I don't know you've been talking to Semenov? Perhaps even Koslov? Who else, I wonder? But your like little that. gang of misfits and rejects has no idea you're playing both sides. How do you... You really are naive, aren't you, Igor? Like a lost little boy. That big brain of yours still can't comprehend what's really going on. Perhaps you're not so special after all. Rat? Why did he call you a rat, Mousy? They're using you. And you can't even see it. Did you ever think to stop running everyone's errands for five minutes and ask yourself why you're here? Why you're really here? You're insane. Chernobylite is messing with your mind. Listen, I never sold anyone out. Someone sent me a picture of Tatiana, and I saw her in my dreams. She called out for me to find her. You're a goddamn liar. She would never. No. You don't belong here. It's the truth, and I can tell you believe it. You're delusional. Semenov used a photograph to lure you here, to get you to mess with my plans. Oh, he made you his puppet, whether you realize it or not. Defend Semenov, reveal who he is. Yeah, might as well reveal who he is, right? What do you guys want me to do? Defend him or reveal him. Obviously, I would reveal him though. Boris, by the way, the black for those of you joining right now, Boris the Black Stalker. Um, Boris worked for the KGB. He stalked Tatiana because Tatiana friend zoned him, and then um, Semenov turned him into the Black Stalker. So he essentially hates our guts because Tatiana chose us over him, and he was in the friend zone. So now he's like hunting us down here. Um. And he thinks we contributed to his death as well. So yeah, reveal. Definitely agree with you guys. You underestimate me, old friend. Yes, I know it's you, Boris. What happened to you? We had our differences back in the day, but we were also good friends, the three of us. Tatiana has always been the most important person in my life. That's true. But that doesn't mean I don't care about anyone else, about my friends. Friends? <laughs> sure. Sure, Boris and Eagle, bosom comrades to the end. Cross my heart and all that. It's really bizarre to see you claiming something that doesn't belong to you. If only you knew. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but I don't care. I will find Tatiana. If I have to go through you to do so, I will. You're not lacking in courage, Igor. But courage without knowledge is indistinguishable from stupidity. Do you understand what you're up against? I know you talk to those halfwits in my lab. Their indiscretion cost them their lives, by the way. Oof. You killed them for telling me that crazy theory of yours? That Chernobylite is an organism so powerful it can produce singularities and wormholes inside its own multi-dimensional body? Believe what you want. But how do you hope to challenge such power if you can't even defeat me? You're so far out of your depth, you don't even realize. I have my own plans, and they don't involve you. Not yet, anyway. I'm not going to kill you, not today. You can thank her for that. But I can't make any promises about the future. Who knows what the future will bring? I sincerely hope I never see you again, Igor. I think you will, if you're standing against- That was against... impressive, what you did back there. You faced a monster and survived. Not everyone can say that. And you two have history, right? Damn. Respect, man. Really. Thanks, I guess. Literally. But keep your eyes on the prize, okay? We're not done quite yet. Very cool, man. Oh, our relationship with Sasuke got better. Now it's good. Interesting. 
So, companions. We're bad with Olga and we're bad with Michelle. Mikel. So, I'm very sad about that. He's my favourite character. But I'm just kind of balancing the team so no one leaves us, really. I'm playing the gamer aspect, you know what I mean? So we, there's a little secret in here before we go any further. Okay, food ration. Free Chernobylite. I'm not even using these things to change the memories anyway. But uh, might as well grab them while we're here. creepy basement man do not like it okay so the last thing we need to do is run back over here because i didn't actually fully explore that truck we went to and we need to go back to base camp very cool indeed yeah really enjoying it so far man but this is the place there's something we missed about this truck though oh, jesus there's a guy how we killed the other guy before why is this guy alive? Hello, brother. <laughs> oh, I didn't see me stealing that. So Boris is Chernobylite. No, Boris is the Black Stalker. Um, <laughs> it's a, quite a long narrative storyline, to be honest, to explain how this is the case. That was all I needed to do. I didn't even know there was two guys standing here. Okay, well, let's equip this and go back to base camp. Where is Oliver? Oliver? Olivier? Sorry. You see, people people in the chat even call him Oliver. I, I don't know. I mean, if, if the NCR stormed that village, I'd have thought they'd have got the boy, right? I can't imagine why else they would... Praise the great rat catcher in the skies. You faced the devil himself and survived. Ah. Yes, <laughs> it was quite an experience. Don't worry. I could never believe that you were the rat king or even a lesser rat. You have a pure heart. I trust you. Ooh. But now we know exactly what we're up against. Chernobylite is the evil that descended upon this world. It's the true face of the Rat King. Listen to me, Igor. Whatever the cost, we have to destroy it. Gas is into the fire. Everyone was successful. We have so many things. We just we don't literally don't need anything. You know what? Same ration as me. Have normal food ration. There we go. So, companions, current current situation. We're now good with Sashko, great with Olivier. Um, neutral with Tarakan still, despite him absolutely sucking the D right there. Ooh, investigations, three out of four. So I think there's one more investigation we'll now be able to do in our room because we have enough evidence. Quick check. Yes, so we can watch this simulation in a moment, friends. Let's chat with everyone first. Igor, then. just the stalker I wanted to see. What's up? Any luck Thanks, going Josh. against the lurkers? The shadows, you mean? Oh, I'm doing what I can, but these creatures are both dangerous and unpredictable. You don't have to tell me that. They killed more than a few friends of mine. And from what I gather, NAR hasn't had any luck hunting them either. They're scary, but they can definitely be killed. Just stick the barrel of your trusty shotgun in its face, whatever that lump is between its shoulders, and pull the trigger. The shadows are able to make short jumps across space-time. That's what makes them so dangerous. But this isn't just about killing them. We can't keep spinning our wheels forever. We have to find out what they are and where they're coming from and put a stop to it for good. NER is part of the puzzle. I'm sure of it. Yeah, if you find out more, please let me know. Till then, I'll just keep kicking their shadowy asses. Boom. Hi, Olga. Do you have any good training I that I need? 
No, we've actually, actually got everything from you. I forgot. Arakan. I can see things, Mousy. Are you okay? You don't look so hot. I'm the hot as fuck. Courses through me. Present, past, future. A tormented, hungry beast about to burst free of its cage. A volcano of unstoppable force. Hellish green light and poisonous vapors. Nice. Is this in the past or the future? Future? Past? These distinctions are meaningless before a terror from out of this world. We awoke something that night in 1986. Something so alien. It is almost beyond our comprehension. Beyond comprehension? I don't think so. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Everything has a scientific explanation. Remember, Igor. This isn't just some stuff for you to power your fancy gun. It's so much more. You need to be ready for anything, Mousy. Okay, bro. Hey there. But I can't. Actually, I can't do. Good. Um, who else do we want to speak to? Let's speak to Mikkel. Hail and well met, old chap. Hi, Mikhail. What's up? Ever heard of Pamir? Sounds familiar. Wasn't that a mobile nuclear power plant? Chernobyl on wheels, yeah. How cool is that? Doesn't sound you very cool when you Russian, put it like that. Way. Imagine this. A convoy of four big-ass heavy trailers. One with a reactor. One with the gas turbine, one with the control room, and one for housing the staff. Five years worth of fuel. If we had one of those here, we could power our base for as long as we need. Right. I remember now. This monstrosity was developed by the Belarusian Academy of Sciences Institute of Nuclear Energy in the 80s. Another fantastic idea that came to nothing. And after the Chernobyl disaster, the people of the Soviet Union weren't so keen on gambling with their health. So they scrapped it. I still think it was cool. Kind of like in Mad Max. Mad what? Anyway, don't worry about our power supply. I can always build more generators. Uh, sure. But I'd still take your noble on wheels over a dozen generators. Fair enough. I live here. Look at his bag. <laughs> What's going on, Igor? I could get some more training in pistol damage, but I reckon we'll go for something else. Where's Olga at? Be in one of these. Hello. Top oh, of the morning to you, sir. Glad to see you're in such good spirits. I like my spirits as much as any man, but I never drink before 6 p.m. It's my liver. Anyway, I'm glad you helped me with the Duga Raider. I know that at one time you were knee deep in that shit, but. I don't hold it against you. That's mighty generous of you. But unfortunately, I can't recall. It's buried somewhere in my memories. Yeah, well, everyone's done something they'd rather forget. Besides, there were different times. Must have been really fucked up living through the Cold War, huh? The two superpowers with their fat fingers on the big red buttons, 24-7. Missile defense systems, mind control, LSD experiments, even detonating tactical nukes. It all happened here. Do you remember any of that? The only explosion I have a vague recollection of was the RBMK explosion. Where are you getting all this stuff from, Sashko? I met a guy when I was doing time in Budya. He knew someone who knew I someone. Can't. You know how it goes. At that time, I thought it was just stupid. Tinfoil hat talk, more, too many drugs. Only after I came to the zone did I start to realize some of it might be true. Crazy, right? Believe me, Sashko. That's not crazy at all. Sure. Hey, Do you about what? Training? I can show you. Perfect parkour. Actually, I, that. I... I think we're good now, though. All right, then. Let us go to bed and relive this memory sequence. So, this is the woman in the red dress. We're going to finally find out what happened to Tatiana. Now I have definitive proof that Tatiana is at the power plant. So I just need to get there. That's the last thing in the book. Oh, cool. This is the buried human corpses. Looks like shadows are afraid of them. The sulfur. All right, let's go ahead and uh, watch the simulation. 
Thanks for becoming a member, X. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks for the support, man. Ooh, we're in the pa Oh, sick. Power plant memory. You're absolutely sure about that, Professor Semonov? It's the only logical explanation. How else would Amelieva's gamma brainwaves be able to interact with Chernobylite if it wasn't at least partially sentient? And what about the gate? Some advanced form of telekinesis. Partially sentient? That's why Tatiana can speak to everyone in the zone. Interesting. That's not a sufficient explanation, not by a long shot. But if what you're saying is true, that would mean that the wormholes are... No, that is impossible. Why impossible? Think about it. Just because we've never seen an organism powerful enough to create, withstand, or even direct the exotic energy found near black holes doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Hello there, Mr. YouTuber. <laughs> Let's have a look. Dude. I promise you, they have a, a Russian version of the game, but the whole game is in Russian. You can literally play the whole game voice acted in Russian with English subtitles if you want. That's the, the first version of the game was that. Then they hired a bunch of British accents, um, which is quite funny, but still good voice acting. So these fractal tunnels, they're also organic. So we're what? Traveling through the veins of a giant multidimensional Moby Dick? Right now, thanks to his trials, only the Black Stalker is. And if you like to play with metaphors, I would say more like a giant multi-dimensional squid. And that would make the shadows, what? Some kind of external white blood cells? Uh, the veins of a Moby Dick. <laughs> Interesting. I'm checking out the merch, Battle Brother. In fact, we actually have some, I'm wearing my, my dragon t-shirt, the ancient dragon t-shirt, which is very sick. So it's, it's a unique design, you can only get it here, definitely check it out. Carry on through the memories. Oh dude, this, this chamber is like going into space. I quite like that theory. They are here to nourish the main host and protect it from intruders and diseases. Us? Most of us, yes. Shadows emerged through the unstable gate, so you don't think it was retaliation or an invasion? No, I would rather call it the reaction of an organism that was attacked by something foreign. Oh, okay. That could actually make sense. I think the camera selection on your Metrobill was on the old camera before you switched. What do you mean? By foreign, I... you mean our test subjects. So shadows are some sort of antibodies. Exciting, isn't it? And Amelieva is like the correct protein, the conduit. She can communicate with the beast, but the beast can also speak through her. I've seen what happened to subjects who were exposed to Chernobylite. Getting some face time with this must be unsettling. Um, yeah, so I'm currently using a 1080p webcam. It's not an SLR because the SLR keeps overheating because it's so hot right now in the UK. Um, but that's the reason it's like less quality camera. What do you care? 
Our names will go down in the history books next to Newton and Einstein. Of course, Professor Semenov. This is all worth it. So Chernobylite is some kind of sentient multidimensional organism. And Tanya can communicate with it. This is... I can't even wrap my head around this. Is this the way out? Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Our literal door is the black hole. Oh my god, what the hell? Dude, this is nuts. Somewhere in the fractorial world, 21st of December. All these hot it's been so them. long, my love. Why can't I hear you anymore? Since you gave birth to the boy and fell into a coma. You used to visit me in my dreams. I miss our conversations. I... I miss you, Tanya. Sometimes, I think I lost my way in all this. Lost myself. We both made so many sacrifices, and now I'm not even sure what awaits us at the end of this road. But this is our only chance to be together. You cannot lose hope now. Please, just let Semenov have what he wants. Give it to him, and then we can have each other. Poor bastard. It seems his delusion keeps him going. But I need to focus. I have to find out what Tanya is supposed to give to Semenov. Semenov's dead. But at least we know Tam uh, Tatiana is here in the power plant. We killed Semenov. <laughs> Awkward. Is that an alien? That's the Black Stalker. Um, he was friend zoned by Tatiana. Kind of the reason she's in that situation. Long story. Luxury office. It's nine. fascinating, Professor Semenov. Really. But I'm here to discuss business, not scientific curiosities. Our investors need to see a return on their investment. You don't need to worry about that. It can be monetized in ways they can't even imagine. <laughs> That's just not good enough for investors, by the way. We can't even imagine it. Don't worry about it. I'll take your money. Huh. Ariella. Ariella, is that how I say your name? Thank you so much for the, the uh, Twitch Prime subscription. But that's just oh, the thing. Are. These people don't like surprises. They want to know precisely what to expect. New types of weapons, medicine, a new means of transportation. All of that and more. You can tell your precious investors that the millions they're pouring into our project will come back to them as billions. And what about the Duga radar? It's been drawing all kinds of unnecessary attention over the years. These dark tourists and those damn stalkers. It has served its purpose. You can scrap it and make razors for all I care. We've got Amelieva now. She's the ultimate conduit. The crazy how our wife just turns out to be a sentient one. Weird stream to hop on and out of context. Day seven and all. Yeah. No, I what we have that. in the works right now, it will transform the NAR into the biggest conglomerate in the world. It's going to be a trillion dollar business. We will use Amelieva to stabilize the gate to another world, the Chernobylites world. And once we are able to travel there, this will be a revolution unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. Dude, he's just so obsessed, isn't he? You could call it an ontological shock. Ontolo what? Never mind. Okay, as long as you find a safe way of putting a dollar sign on it, you've got the permission of the board. But, you know, just keep your feet on the ground, okay, Professor? We're here to make money, not destroy the world or cause shocks of any kind. I've got it all under control. Everything is in place, and our patient Zero is ready. Dear God, so that's what Semenov needs Tanya for? Stabilizing a wormhole? A gate to the origin of Chernobylite. I need to get to the power plant and find her fast, before he can carry out this insane plan. Who knows wow. what can happen to her? Or to the world. I've got to make a plan and move fast. Saving game. Wow, okay. This is this is getting pretty intense. 
the storyline actually is coming together at the end. Like, at the start, I was like, whoa, okay, what's going on here? I think you actually take the time to listen to it and figure it out. It's genuinely quite compelling. Good thing Semnol's now dead. Yeah, I feel like they didn't really account for the fact you could kill him ahead of that. Yeah, I've killed the two main figureheads. The only person left to defend her is going to be the Black Stalker, who is the ultimate friend zoned person. Woman in the red dress, achievement unlocked. Three skill points? What a way to wake up! My god! Go ahead and save the game. Zero minutes from the last save. I don't know how that's possible. If you feel ready to return to the power plant, you can do so at any time. Boy, the board that allows you to uh, check the plan is where you get the mission every day. Okay, great. great. Um, so we still have some clues that are there. But we've already seen the simulations of each conspiracy, the web of lies, the black stalker, and the woman in the red dress. It seems like our team is hanging around upstairs. Are you prepared to face the day's challenges? Always, battle brother. So, currently, we have just random quests generated where we can go into the zone again. Seems like we've done all the main quests, so next will be the final quest, the heist mission. However, I'm actually not allowed to show you this, um, like the actual gameplay for this last final quest, because it's like the ending of the game, I believe. Um, so, we've got our full team, we've played through the entire game, and we've got the full team together at the end of the game. And what I'll do is on the 28th, when Chernobylite releases, I'll release the ending uh, in an edited episode for you guys to watch. I'll probably uh, record it and upload it uh, ready for you guys to, to watch on day one. Uh, sorry, I can't release it now. That's just how it is. Uh, so drop a like on the video for that and you'll find the whole playlist in the description anyway. You can find the video at the end of it. Uh, and it'll be on the 28th. So subscribe with the bell icon if you haven't already uh, and then you'll get notified about it hopefully um funnily enough the live streams have been super popular with you guys watching but the edited episodes weren't as popular for some reason only getting like even six thousand views at time whereas the live streams have got like 20 to thirty thousand. so that's it's really cool to have you guys all here supporting live it always feels great to stream and interact with you guys and like play the game and have you help me make those decisions so i really appreciate it sorry i can't show you guys the ending right now but it's going to be very exciting um to sort of see the game to the ending because i think the storylines really come together in a very compelling way and i really enjoyed my the playthrough thoroughly um so i might even do a review let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a review of this game but uh i think we'll end the stream here now guys and i will see you in that final episode on the 28th um, and again, I might do a review video as well. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you there. Goodbye.